Spring is going to hit a little different this year because we're all finally starting to get back outside and see friends again. No matter where your adventures take you, bring the comfort and style of Mack Weldon along for the ride. Whether it's their hoodies, polos, tees, or active shorts, everything in the Mack Weldon collection mixes and matches seamlessly to fit in with any other products you have. Springtime means kissing season, and Mack Weldon's Ace Sweatpants, Vesper Polo, and Pima Silver or Dry Knit T-shirts keep you active and fresh. Mack Weldon promises comfort and a consistent fit in everything they make from working out, going out, going to work or on a date. Mack Weldon is for everyday life. And with Weldon Blue, Mack Weldon's free loyalty program, you get free shipping for life. Mack Weldon wants you to be comfortable, so if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can keep them and they'll still refund you. No questions asked. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash peasants and enter promo code peasants. That's MacWeldon.com slash peasants, promo code peasants for 20% off. Mac Weldon, reinventing men's basics. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a weird thing. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet. Here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's the Drunken Peasants Podcast. It's episode 881. Do it live. It's a Saturday bonus show, but it was earned by you, the people, two weeks ago because we took some time off for the first time in a very long time. Welcome back, everyone. Please give us a like. All of you, give us a like for, for the Saturday bonus show live here. Like it up to a million. And uh, due to the wacky wildness of my birthday week, there are a few days where it's just me in the fridge, but that's all we need, right? That's all we that's need. That's all I ever wanted. I'm tired of people taking Do you tell, away from good me. sir. I'm tired of people coming in here and stealing my bed time. Oh man, yeah. we are thirty episodes away from episode nine eleven. Yeah, yeah, I was, I, I was trying to count it. I, I still count on my fingers because I have a learning <laughs> disability. So I was like, how many, how many before episode nine eleven? Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, so I ride don't... by touch one touch call Glanderson Booper in T Bob Glanderson Booper. So don't be disappointed if episode nine hundred is mediocre at best, guys. Yeah, nine hundred will be as good as every other episode always is. Right. Nine eleven, we're gonna fly a plane to that motherfucker. Whoa. Yeah, I'm I, I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. We should do the math and see when that is gonna uh, be. But who knows what's gonna happen? Who knows what the future holds, you know? I know. <laughs> uh, and then 1000 will be right around the corner from that. I want it'll probably be winter of this year or winter of next like early, you know, early next year. Yeah. So, everyone please give us a like, especially Honest Red. Yeah, Honest Red, sign into your sock account, and give us two likes. Do it. I have a video for antagonism tonight that uh, I I watched and I was like, oh, Honest Red would love this video. So we're we're gonna watch that tonight. So stay tuned for that. This one's just for Honest Red. Yeah, I'll play it later. Um, pff, holy shit! You got it, Chief. What? What? Hold on. Is that a, a Native American stereotype? Are you Native American? I don't know, am I? I don't know. I thought I was. I wasn't. People used to say I was even when I wasn't, and I released my high school senior picture, and uh, people like put a feather in my hair, and, and uh, they made memes of it saying I was Native American. But I took a DNA test, and it, it also said I was 0%. Hmm. That's our word. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um. 
I do want to say uh, this this is big news. They made Asterios into Wolverine recently. Oh, wow. They put adamantium in him. What? Yeah, look. Ah, they're putting adamantium in me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Are they doing tests on him? Yeah, yeah, one more time. Ah. They're putting adamantium in me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's a sleep study. I've had one before. That's what that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, they... Y- you basically spend the night in the hospital and you fall asleep and they measure everything about you, like your heart rate and all of that shit uh, and how many times you s- snore throughout the night and that kind of shit. But I love it because that is how Wolverine looked when they were putting adamantium <laughs> in him. Ah, they're putting adamantium in me. Ah. Ah. Ah, rah, rah. Oh, God, I love it. I watched that like 200 times yesterday. That is nuts. Yeah, All pl- that for an, a sleep? Well, they, they monitor everything that your body does when you sleep. Because people with sleep apnea, they don't sleep well. And it actually causes heart problems. Hmm. It can cause damage to your heart because you stop breathing in your sleep. Yeah. It's really bad. Reminds me of myself some days. Oh, do you stop breathing in your sleep? I used to a lot, Do you have I night guess? sweats? That's a sign of sleep apnea. Uh, not you, often. Okay. Every once in a while, weather permitting, I'll get a night <laughs> sweat. I, I I night sweat whenever the weather is permittable. Yeah. I night sweat. I sweat night. I used to uh I used to like stop breathing in my sleep like snore breathing. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's sleep apnea. Yeah, I used to do that a lot when I was I way have fatter. And then when I started losing weight, I guess it slowed yes, down. Yes, it does. It does. Like being overweight makes i don't know why because there's like more fat in your throat i don't know why um but passages and stuff so i do it anyway but i found out it was because i can never breathe through my nose so i had that thing where they melted all the i I had a nose job i had a rhinoplasty but it was all internal they didn't change my outward nose but they just melted away all these all this extra flesh in my nose and widened it out damn but even so, even still, it still happens. So I wear this weird magnetic thing on my nose that pulls my nose apart, and it works really well. Yeah, I think becoming 600 pounds was the best thing I ever did for my body because now <laughs> that I've lost a little bit of weight, I'm super fat and I'm not affected by sleep apnea. Yeah. Oh, you didn't develop a lot of the problems obese people have. Like, you didn't get yeah. the diabetes. So you Never don't have had a- gout. I don't have a Did you have high removed? blood pressure? No, not really. Not, not even like just slightly above normal. A, a little for okay. a little while yeah. I did, but when I was like a teenager, I was 450, 500 pounds, and I went to the hospital, and the doctor was like, "Your blood pressure is better than mine," and he was a young man, and I was like, "Yeah, it's because I'm fucking adamantium." You know, I think a lot of people saw Egghead in the thumbnail, and they're not watching. Damn it! This has always happened. Yeah, everyone, please like the stream. This is not all about Egghead. It was just a joke, so Egghead would come in here and be like, I hate you. I hate you. Hi, the Karen. You know who we should have put in the the, the title? Who? Mercedes Carrera. Oh, God. And Did we, something we, happen? No, but like th- we always got huge video views when we put Mercedes in the title. Because people are fucking sick and they want to hear about that they kind of shit. They just want to know, they're like, is it okay to masturbate to her yet? Do we have the green light? Do we have the green light? Is it okay? And I'm like, look, friends, it's always okay. Always. Antagonism, everyone. Antagonism. Let's start with some of that. Yes, they are. Yeah, Mercedes Carrera was supposed to have another court date the fifth of this month, 
and I looked all over for it during our break to see if anything happened with it. Couldn't find a thing on it. Hmm. It's uh, X-Biz, which I guess is like okay. the porn news outlet. If you go X-Biz, Mercedes Carrera, they always have updates when there are updates. You'd think I would have known that. So ah! This is Egghead's bathtub. Da -da ding, 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 ding. After he cleaned it a little bit, actually. You know what? A murder happened here, right? I know about four or five different women who would totally make love to Egghead in this tub. They're sick. They're degenerate. In this? No, you're alive. Yeah, they're gross. They're sick, gross, Are you going to name names? Yeah. Nancy Pelosi. Oh, you're right. <laughs> No, but I, just, I, 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 I've met girls that are like dirt, gross, fetish people. It's icky. But now, thinking of it now, I'm like, this might be something for Egghead to put on his profile, like Tinder. He should join Fet Life. Yeah, go on Fet Life, post this picture, say, "Hey, I need a girl dirty enough to bang me in this bathtub. Don't worry, I got a small dick. You won't come. It'll be ten <laughs> times, it'll be ten times humiliating than any other guy could put you through." And the girls are like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Get me all filthy, Daddy! Get Please. me all filthy! Drown me in your shit water!" Here's 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 a little more after he cleaned it. This looks like an ashtray at a crack house. <laughs> <laughs> my guy oh my god egghead he was like look guys i clean the bathtub <laughs> i would pour a whole fucking bucket of bleach into this bathtub yeah i don't even know how i would clean this i would probably just burn the house down and move <laughs> i think it was an apartment so you can't do that i could well you'll kill other people unfortunately <laughs> uh, it's worth it this tub is just just to take out yeah this tub. no way i'm cleaning this fucking thing dude I try to keep my shower clean and it's grimy. Like, like my shower's not like this, but it's not clean. So Lauren's here, right? And yeah. she's probably seen the tub in person. Lauren, you ever bob for apples in that thing? Yeah. What's it like in person to gaze upon the tub? You in ever all let of its Egghead glory? give you a pedigree into she that says, motherfucker? Unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, let Egghead give you a pedigree into that bathtub, Triple H style. Dude, that would win him the actual Mania title back, yeah. I think. Yeah. Come on, Lauren. Let Egghead drop you on your skull in this bathtub. <laughs> oh, no. You wouldn't do that. Not for the content. You're not really a fan. Oh, wow. <laughs> you like my reverse psychology? It is, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I remember when I was a little kid, like, look, Mom, you don't really want ice cream for dinner. And then we both got really fat eating ice cream for dinner. <laughs> Shit. Um, you guys, to those of you who are watching right now that did not watch a very special episode of DP last night, uh, which was our first Patreon private show of this month, you missed out. It was pretty awesome. I'm getting rave reviews on it. We watched uh, some crazy anti-drug PSAs. And some other stuff. It was great. You should sign up because not only would you get to watch that later on tonight, uh, this coming Friday, Actual Mania is coming up. So you don't want to miss that. And another thing for our $25 patrons and above, you can get a pretty cool t-shirt if you stick around for three months. And I happen to have uh, one of our fans, uh, Sosa, Sosa Bravo. Sosa Bravo. Yeah, looking looking pretty slick in yeah. there. Yeah. I wouldn't look that good in that shirt. I was like, how is it going to, like, I didn't get to see what the finished product would look like, but it actually does, they printed it well, it looks good. It's good. Look at him. He's very, very handsome. Rico Suave. I would say, I would say that. Yeah. Very handsome. Yeah. And he's got a lot of booze, apparently. Oh my God. He has a lot of booze. That's a nice, that's a little, I like mirror bars. Bars with a mirror in the background. So, as you guys can see, it's a high quality print, too. Yeah. On a high quality t shirt. On a high quality gentleman. Yes. Yeah. You know what? We should. He's got a fanny pack. Yeah, because he's cool. We shouldn't have showed this because now all the female fans of Drunken Peasants are going to harass him. So, Sabravo? So yeah, they're like, you're too cute. Give me that fanny pack. I think it's crazy how mullets and fanny packs are back in style. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's lit. I'm sorry. 
It's lit. Like, are is it 1990 again? <laughs> are we back to 1990, 1991? Uh, yeah. Does it take 20 years? 30 years. 30 years. 30 years yeah. for things to cycle That's back exactly around. That's exactly how it works. Sorry, remember, 30 years. Remember when Jinkos and Bell Bottoms are, came back are in Are Jinkos coming back? Well, in 2000, I used to wear those. Bell Bottoms came back. They were, the Jinkos were effectively like dickhead Bell Bottoms, but Bell Bottoms were a thing as well. And that's 30 years after the 70s. Hmm. The, the, the 2010s, we had all the the uh, hyper color shit come back, the color blocking. Do you remember the t-shirts that would change color when you when they, like, the heat would change? Yeah, that was hyper color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. some of those. Hell yeah. I, I, I had some, and then I had some hyper color sweatpants, and I pissed myself, and it, it never uncolored. It was just neon fucking piss. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can get the shirt. I'm only running it for three more months, which means sign up now. Well, sign up either now or the beginning of June to get yours. Oh, you have to go for three more months and then you'll get them. So if you want to sign up, sign up now, $25 or above, you get all the other perks. And then after three months... I mean, so you're not, like, just buying the shirt. You're getting the stuff you would normally get on Patreon anyway. PT Ham. And we're, 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 there's other stuff in the works, too, that we'll announce later. PT Ham in the, the chat said, gross, Billy, to my, my hypercolor piss pant thing I was talking. I was, I was cool with letting everybody think that was real. I was just going to let everybody think that that wasn't a joke and that I really did that. But You gross people out now. You no, no, not them. people. Specifically, PT Ham. Yeah. Now that I gross PT Ham back, I want to publicly apologize for that joke. It wasn't true. Anybody else would have said gross Billy, I'd have been fine with it, but not PT Ham. I didn't mean to gross you out, Hammer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Here's uh, Come Dumpster Bob. He's done with Elisa and Kermit and friends. Wow. <laughs> He's drinking Dos Equis. All right, he upgraded. I finally got it figured out that Lisa Jordan is just a filthy fucking... Why can't you say her name right? Like, it's not El Elisa Jordan. It's Elisa Jordana. What is she a filthy? Piece of shit. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, she was the last reason you were going to get any attention at all. Like, positive attention. At least she pretends to think you're cool. <laughs> I, I don't know. Finally got it figured out. Not only are you what you eat, but you are what you're surrounded by. So Andy what Dick. You surround yourself with is what you are. I think her and Andy are over. Are they? Now you okay. see exactly what Elisa Jordana is. Oh, you said it okay. Good job. A literal pile of mixed fucking shit. I messaged her when I was in LA. I wanted to go out and meet her, and I did not set up time. She was like, come have lunch in Beverly Hills, and I pussed out. And now I'm looking. I didn't puss out. I was busy, so I didn't like message her back. I didn't, didn't have the time to go out. But now I'm looking at this, and she's losing Andy. She's losing Trump's to Bob. She needed a friend, and I failed. I failed wow. Elisa. I feel horrible. Wow. I feel horrible. She's anti-Christian. She's anti-American. And she's a literal pro druggy piece of shit what well, you you do drug dude you drink like a fish that's a drug okay and you abuse the 911 phone number and, ab and abuse the people who answer the phones there. Did he get a toupee or something? Like No, he got a weird haircut. It looks like the doo-doo emoji sitting on his head. Yeah. Pro drugs, I mean, if you're talking, you know, pot and whatever, that's fine. Oh, the ones you do are okay. All right, I see. If you're talking like heroin and up, fentanyl and all that shit, fuck you, motherfucker. Uh, when, did, when did Elisa Jordana be pro fentanyl yeah did i miss that now i'm really bummed out i didn't go visit her god <laughs> fentanyl <laughs> lollipops hell yeah slurping hell yeah Put crack fucking fucks people's lives oh yeah oh yeah elisa smokes crack definitely yeah. you're right bob i'm bob, just not bob, gonna be down right. that shit what's up maurice dill you're free to call in if you want but you can take 
uh, that, that, that fucking piece of trash, filthy trash over there with Kermit friends, Alicia Jordana, and have her eat your fucking butthole out. What? Because butthole, I just think butthole, she wants butthole. to lick your fucking butthole clean. What? I just got this fucking feeling. Why are you so mean, Trumpster Bob? You could probably actually make that happen live on our show. She's so desperate for fucking people over there. She did that accept you. The only you. people she got over there is fucking Yeah, shit. I mean, that is an indication. If she thinks she can sell shit to the internet, I don't fucking think so. So from now on, every Sunday, I'm going to do an after Kermitarian's from the <laughs> Bob wrap-up show about her piece of shit show. <laughs> How about we just do it like that? Wouldn't that create a better atmosphere for everyone? I think so. He's like, I'm done with Elisa. So I'm going to do a show after hers, wrapping up her show. <laughs> like, that doesn't mean you're done with her, dude. It means you're actually doing yeah, more you're, you're to promoting be around her. her. Psycho. Even the people we, we rip on here, we are at least mildly promoting. Yeah. In a negative way, it might promote people to go f talk shit, but we're That's at least... called karma. That piece of shit, filthy bitch. Wow. God damn it. Dude, you were in... He was in love with her. He yeah. was like, damn, who's that? Like, he came over to our channel when we had her on and was like, who the hell is that? And we we're... And, and, and then... You know, she was like, oh, God, that's a beautiful dumpster fire. Yeah, I'll have him on my show. She uh, she ran, ran a good show. She it's had, a good show. She has a good show. She it is a good she, show. She, she has Onision on. I, I saw Onision came back on. Yeah, he messaged me uh, during the break. I was in Atlanta, and he was like, do you want to live stream sometime? Oh, we'll go back on that show with Elisa. And I was like, sorry, I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> but... He also called me a horrible friend. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. Recently? I think he might have been joking, but I could never he tell him. He said that in the DM? Yeah. Oh. He was like, we well, can come on uh, that show we did. I'll be on with Elisa. You can come on and we can talk about how what a horrible friend you are. And I was like, I don't know if this is a joke or not. <laughs> Weird. I like how you impersonate him. Yeah. Everyone like the stream. Please like the stream. <sighs> We're going to do... Uh, Pin Valentine says, I think Bobby actually thought she was into him. I think in a, probably. In, in a way, I think in a way, she was. <laughs> I think Alisa is attracted to people who are... Benji! Um, yeah, who are like interesting. I think she has an attraction to that. I kind of feel like the to, Benji thing might have been a work, too. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, Yeah. Here's so uh, when we had Vosh on the last time, there was a guy that we watched that did this weird math equation. Do you remember that? Uh, we 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 played a video of him and he did this weird like. Was it Scott Steiner? No. Oh. For the Vosh, someone sent me. Someone sent me a. I saw this. Did you? Wow. This has nine K views. Someone reposted this is that nine clip. K views. That's hilarious. It says 9K views. For all the retards in the chat, do you actually think I was being serious? Were you? Do you actually think I was being serious? Or I was I trying to mock Vosh and his retarded fans? We don't you know. actually thought I was being serious rather than engaging in mockery. Are you fucking stupid? A a no. video where this guy we don't know who you are you with an equation. You want to see it? Oh Christ! What? Yeah, yes. sure. Hit me. Nobody told All me right. there's gonna be math. Okay, ready? What the? This is an airtight conclusion he's coming to. A person. I'm illiterate. This is gonna be hard for me. So. Supporters of fascism are the self fascism. fascism. Voting is a way to show support. This is the logic chain here. Vosh voted for a fascist. <laughs> Therefore, Vosh is and, a fascist. Uh, because analytards love this, we're going to do. Um, so. This has got to be infrared, right? Hold on. Yep. 
But that's it for a right chat. Can we confirm? Okay, I wasn't sure who it was. That asked. I'm I'm just here. I he got nine K views, dude. Nine K views. Is he? Is that a lot to him? I don't Going know. Going up. Wait. Oh, is this, this is a video we didn't make. Is it? Yeah. Is he gonna be after this? He's gonna be like, what? I was throwing on that one nine too. K he didn't views even know. Is nothing. Yeah. Like, look, 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 dude. I don't know who you are. I still don't know who you are. I don't care. Infrared. I, I thought Bosch you were, knew who he was. I thought you were a goof. So it was nice to goof on you. Um, I, I wish I wish I knew more about you without ever having to watch any more of you. Randomly made about us, 9K views. Dude, the internet wants to see Vosh face me again. The whole internet wants this, dude. The whole internet? The whole internet. The whole internet. The whole internet. How small does he think the internet is? There was at least 9,000 people. At least nine thousand. This 9, is about people. the IQ I'd expect. Yeah, yeah. I, do I even have to argue against this? Yeah, you know I'm taking it. We're we're on our new fash arc right now. The the pro Biden <laughs> fash arc. You know Biden, famously popular with fascists. You can go on all the fa Biden is just as much as a fascist as anyone else, according to you, because you said. So you were being serious now. So you were saying you were trolling, but now you're explaining why you were being serious. That fascism means Umberto echoes for there's so much deception going on right now and if he responds to this there will be like I want I want us to keep responding back and forth so there's like a a deception like smaller and smaller and smaller and then Casey Tron will start responding to it or 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 she's reacting to cats yes 14 points and I just proved in this video that according to the 14 points Biden's a fascist now Vosh since you're such a smart guy are you going to go ahead and deduce that my point was to say Biden is a fascist? Deduce? Or was I trying to demonstrate that Umberto Echo's 14 points are so fucking vague that they can be applied to anyone? Which one is it, huh? Fascist forums <laughs> on November 5th, 6th, 7th, and just see an outpour. Well, this is actually a poor argument. If you're going to qualify whether he's fascist or not based on whether fascist forums were supporting him, you're going to be in for some trouble because there were many fascists and neo-Nazis who supported Biden. Richard Spencer is just one example of those, but other people could s made the argument that Biden was the pro-white candidate. <laughs> Pouring of support for Joe. So, he was the pro-white candidate with the with the uh, uh, like Asian slash black vice president. Yeah. So, like, if Biden dies, he's the oldest president ever right now. If he dies, a, 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 a minority becomes a, the president. Not just a minority. But he was the pro-white. woman. Right. Well, yeah, I was leaving that out because that's not, like, you know, racial. Basically but... is. Of course, Biden. John Lennon. But now the, the, the poster boy for fascism, is that how it is? I do. I have, we're done with it now, but I have had the most fun the past month with my anti-tanky arc. Okay, you know um, you know how some lefties, like their beginning and end, the knowledge of leftism for them is like wearing Yushanka and praising Stalin? They don't even watch the- Okay, they just pause it here and they offer commentary. They, they don't even talk about me anymore. Yeah, we yeah, don't want to watch your whole video. What's going on Duh. with the We're watching more of your video now. Bags so, piled up in the back of yeah, his room. Yeah, well, his background Oh, damn, is, I forgot we call him out of the just garbage bag. It's like he force-fucked a trash panda back there. <laughs> God, I'm funny. What the hell is going on? Who are these drunken peasants? Tell- You know, don't tell them, don't harass nobody. It's against the U.S. Oh, I will debate drunken peasants if these two want right. to about about the piles of trash. Yeah, let's let's get him on garbage are island. Gonna, are we gonna have a pile <laughs> of trash debate? Baby, look at y'all. Look, each and every one of them look like I wipe my ass and there's some hair and there's some dingleberries. That's what their face looks like. Oh! You may know when you wipe your ass and you're a hairy man Explain and a lot of. Explain the trash panda you wiped and your ass with. Why is there all this, these dingleberries in your ass, dude? What the fuck is wrong yeah. with your ass? You got, like, one of those baboon asses or something? Yeah. My ass, very clean. I could put a tamale in my butt cheeks. Yeah. And I'd be comfortable eating it 30, 40 minutes later. You know my ass? There's big ass dingleberries in my ass, just like these guys. Yeah, what? You owned us, man. Why do we look like toilet butt wipes to him? There's like, so many poo poo chunks hanging out yeah. of his butt. Like, we look like something he would put up his ass. Okay. Okay. Submissive little. Flattery will get you everywhere, Ooh. sir. Chara comes out. That's what they look like on their face.
Oh, good is that one. What we look like on our each face? and every. He was basically like, "You're a poo poo face." Yeah, good one, Papa. You're the future of intellect. You want? I'll debate them, especially this guy. Especially this guy. Why? Oh, each and every one. Steve? Drunken his, peasants. Especially. Wallah, especially you're so Steve? ugly. Wallah, you're so ugly. I'm Wallah, pretty, you're dude. so ugly. I'm yeah. pretty. Like your bourgeois uh, respectability standards um, will not last long, comrade. So we will all live in trash. Voting is a way to show support. These guys are the so poo -poo of fascism. from my He's unwashed from anus. Does this make sense? You are a big fat man. Yes. I will tell you that. You are fat oh, as hell. Thank you for that. You uh, fat as hell, dude. Observation. You a big fat motherfucker. Yes. Yeah, you already said that five times. Yes. Anything else? <laughs> they only no, social. And apparently <laughs> you wipe your ass with big fat motherfuckers because you have dingleberries in it. Little stink nuggets. Is that why? What is wrong with you, dude? I don't want to debate you. I want to jello wrestle you. I want to rub my balls all over your face. Mm -hmm. Dominate you. Why are you knocking yes. existing socialism of garbage <laughs> islands? He's a supporter. <laughs> supporter of... Yeah, basically, we, we had um, we had JF on here a long time ago, and he was talking about his ethno state. Uh -huh. Okay, this is boring as hell. They're not going to do anything. Boring as hell. King. <laughs> You're so sad, little man, with all your poop nuggets hanging out of your butt. I don't know, man. He's probably always, like, picking his ass. He wipes his ass with us. He wipe... I, I didn't wipe, know... I wipe ass with you. I didn't know that people did that with us. That's icky. I do not consent. Nah, this is dumb. I'm gonna play something else. Oh, with, this is the one for Honest Red. Honest Red, you're gonna love this. I'd like to invite you to come out and cheer on the Warriors. It's the last game of the season. So I guess there's like a league of church basketball teams. So this pastor is promoting uh, the championship basketball game. Their team against some other church. Their team is the Warriors. And it is a very, is very important game. Jam? We are playing against the Falcons, the Gonzalez Baptist Church. And it's going to be a tough game, and it's going to be for a trophy. So come out and enjoy the game. Eat some concessions and cheer on the Warriors, and let's make some noise. And what do we have here tonight? What do we have here tonight? Oh, my soul. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Warrior Chief. Now listen, he doesn't just come out anytime. This must be a rare occasion, rare Legends surprise. The, Hidden the Warrior Chief only comes out for special occasions. Let's see what the Warrior Chief is here for tonight. So it'd be one thing just wearing the clothing, but the the weird accent that he does. Warrior Chief, come out and make great war dance. Stir up spirit in young braves for hoop basket contest. Wow, he that's has a great. speech impediment so, while he's doing it too. That's so cute. Or your chief, you really believe that if the people will come out to the game on Friday night and cheer on the Warriors, we have a chance to win? Not if people stay home in teepee watching glass picture box. Man <laughs> God, it's so cringy. Ow! I want to know if they won. Glass picture box. Many times, young braves shoot fire circle through white dreamcatcher hoop. And people not make no noise and, 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 and Jim deader than Custer at Little Bighorn. I see. I see. So, so you think the more people that come and cheer on our games. Yes, Kimosabi. So he's basically doing Tonto from the Lone Ranger. That's what I he's guess. doing. Yeah, I mean, Kimosabi and... It's all bad. I like, mean, this is something from way back in the day, you know, like the 1940s. The Lone Ranger, his his sidekick, who was a, a Native American, Tonto, spoke like this, and and they and and strangely enough, not too long ago they had Johnny Depp play Tonto yeah. in the Lone Ranger movie. Yeah, with Army Hammer as the main. That's a that's a that's a rough a rough headliner right there. Yeah, Army Hammer and our boy. I think our boy got acquitted though, right? I don't remember. Yeah, uh, Johnny Depp that supposedly oh, yeah. Amber Heard. Oh, yeah, Heard. he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Army I don't Hammer, know what you meant so when much. you said our boy. I'm like, who's our boy? Johnny Depp. That's my oh, boy. Okay. Johnny J. Depp. <laughs> Army Hammer, not so much. That game is not time to sit still like Totem Pole. It's time to shout and make them great celebration. 
Make them make them noise like many of us. Honest Red says this is what Billy did at his summer camp. Yeah. Wow. That's, wow. You went to a racist summer camp. It's it's privilege for Bunch Honest Red to even think that to even have the idea that summer camp exists. I never went to summer camp, dude. I was poor. Your privilege ass well, he, probably had choices between means, what summer camp. You know to what go he to. means, though. He means the powwows that you went to, like that was the summer camp. Those were powwows at the freaking community center. I go down during the weekend. Was I was it, a weekend warrior. Was it every weekend? No, I only oh. went a couple times. Waters. I see. Listen, we went I tried camping to tell with medicine that. men though. They were like, yeah, no, I, I was talking about like the the native stuff your dad got you into. Yeah, but, it was just we had medicine men friends. That's all. We went the up past, to the mountains brother Bob together. Was trying and to tell him, uh, brother, I sat by the fire, and I was told that I had a very old spirit, and they did freaking rituals on my body. I was trying to encourage Bundy. him to come. Me speak now to all young braves and squaws. You come to game on Friday. Stir up great spirit in young braves. Make them big celebration. We defeat Falcons. Bring Falcon out of sky. Be great celebration. Okay, folks. So you heard it from the great warrior chief himself. I like how Be at the game this Friday night. An exciting off. atmosphere. Yeah, what? For our guys. Don't sit He's there staring a like a, a totem pole. Let's cheer on the warriors. Warrior Chief, make them one more celebration. When, when, when young braves defeat Falcons and bring Falcon out of sky, oh we God. make feast, great feast, in warrior concessions. Yeah, yeah. We have Falcon Nuggets. Falcon Nuggets? Listen, I, that sounds great and all, but I think Falcon Nuggets is illegal to serve in the that concession That sounds like stands. what the last guy was talking about. No Falcon Nuggets? Oh, well, if you want Falcon Nuggets, you come see Chief after game. Me bring all falcon meat back to Wigwam. <laughs> now all young braves and all old braves, come to game on Friday. Don't cost much wampum to get in. If my great father sell Manhattan for 24 greenbacks, pale faces can afford three clans who come in and cheer on warriors. Come to game on Friday. We make them great big celebration. Legend tell of, of young braves with gold and green war paint that hunt great falcon. Okay, even if even if this was funny, it's gone on too long. This is horrible. Yeah, it's it, it's, Bro, it's like like I I would say cancel this guy, but I think doing this is punishment enough. This is the cringiest, most horrible thing. I I doubt he'll ever kiss a girl ever again. Who, who the, the guy in the uh, Indian? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah. This, this story is, be told sex life and it bring over. fear to all tribes. Well, this legend will live on forever. Come Friday. He'll never it get a promotion at Walmart. Hey. Hey. I hope he trips. Oh, Are right. those the guys on the basketball team? There you go, folks. Probably. Warrior there team go. expects you. Was that, They're chasing him down. That was probably like the coach of the basketball team or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe. They're going to go eat his ass. to be Thank there you. at the game. Uh, God, that was horrible. Oh no, you know what? I, I mixed uh I had to do Wild Bill. The compassion of Israel. As an American, I am outraged and ashamed at the lies that certain so-called Americans tell against the nation of Israel. American Democrats in particular are a national disgrace. Many, like Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar, open their mouths and lies fly out like projectile vomiting. Well, today I'm gonna balance the narrative. It wasn't long ago that a Palestinian mother was horrified that her baby had stopped breathing. She scooped up her baby and desperately ran towards the... So I'm going to tell you a story that can't be, be verified to prove my point. It wasn't long happening. ago this happened. Right. People she knew would help. She ran to the nearest Israeli soldiers. The Israelis immediately... Oh, you mean the soldiers that occupy the place that they live? called their hospital and their commanding officer an Israeli colonel heard the call he personally drove a doctor to the scene and the doctor saved that little baby's life that is how the Palestinians are treated by Israel and a few years before that a mentally retarded Palestinian <laughs> Boy, who was often seen wandering the streets of his neighborhood, was grabbed by Hamas terrorists. They beat that poor boy and terrorized him into doing what they wanted. They strapped a bomb to the boy and put the detonator in his hand. 
and ordered him to walk up to a group of Israeli soldiers and push the button. But as the frightened boy was approaching the soldiers, his coat came open and they saw the bomb. They scrambled behind their concrete barriers, pointed their guns at the boy and ordered him to stop. Now they would have been perfectly justified shooting him right there on the spot. But the boy began to cry and not one Israeli soldier pulled the trigger. And believe it or not, a lone soldier stepped out from behind his con. All of these stories are unverifiable bullshit. You're just running your mouth. But to those Israeli soldiers... A lot of Christians are like this with Israel. The only reason I can think of is because it's where Jesus was born. Like, oh, and it's not even the, the modern nation of Israel, which is younger than the United States. That boy States. was a life worth saving. And I think it is concerning that uh, Trump was so popular in Israel, too. It was about two years ago, I think, that an American Air Force officer who had served in Israel declared the Israeli military to be the most moral military in the world. That's quite an honor. And today, the same terrorists who tried to blow up that mentally retarded boy are launching thousands of missiles on Israeli citizens. They don't care if they kill little children. To them, the only good Jew is a dead Jew. In fact, one of seven of those Hamas missiles lands in Palestinian neighborhoods, killing Palestinian children. And of course, they blame Israel for killing those children. And bloodthirsty American Democrats like Rashida Tlaib join the cacophony of lies about Israel. Cocaine? As an American, I cannot and will not remain silent as Hamas terrorists murder Israelis. An American terrorist like Rashida Tlaib... Uh, okay, you're you're so full of shit. Anyway, uh, here's you sent me this this baked Alaska thing. What is yeah, this? Yeah, I guess from? he uh, was uh, harassing some fast food workers recently. Yeah, he's I back out. I think he's back out. Dude, yeah. why is he not on his best behavior? I guess he doesn't care. <laughs> Can I use the bathroom? No, I have to ask you to leave the building. Why? Because you have to wear a mask. It's the rules. Even the motorcraft that you have to go now. Hmm? Yeah. I just need to use the bathroom, dude. Dude, they're not wearing masks in the White House, you fucking retard. Have you not seen Joe Biden is not wearing a mask? He's the biggest cuck in the world. You're a cuck, bro. Oh, dude. I just want to use the bathroom, dude. Why are you making a whole deal about this? Sir, you need to leave for a couple weeks. Oh, is that supposed to scare me? <laughs> this would scare me, Eric. Is that supposed to scare me, Eric? Obviously, it doesn't scare him. him, though. Please call the police on him. Please. Okay. Okay. How, how about this? Fuck you. You're gay. You suck. I don't give a shit about Jack in the Box. Then why are you still here? Because I need to use the bathroom, dude. Customers only. Could you please go? Thank you. Okay. Fine. I'm out of here. He's gonna escort me out. Is that the Super fuck? Mario? It looked like it. I got Super Mario. I was hoping he'd get his ass beat or something else would happen. Yeah, we need a good ass beating baked Alaska stream. Karma. More on point, this has to do with baby DNA too. Huh? I don't care how many times you say it's about pussy, I'm just gonna reject you wigger fucking retards and not redact anything I say. Um, the fact is, is that if this is about money, you're a classist generation, Gen Z. If this is about age, then you're a bigot generation, Gen Z. I'll give you $100 if you hook me up with an 18 to 21 year old chick. She has to have a dinner with me. $20? $100. Oh, 100 That's not, that's not enough either. Yeah, do you... If you want to get a 18 to 20 year old chick for a hundred dollars come to seattle he's go homeless to too go to the, the the strip highway 99 and there will be some gen z prostitutes there that will do whatever you want for a hundred bucks you sick fuck it's a mash making service you're a freelancer now baby dna gen x seed Gen Z egg soaked in telomerase. The fastest swimmers, the hardest hitters, sperm is in my generation. A third of our sperm 
is the fastest, hardest hitting sperm because it has more telomerase. So it has more telomere strength, which means it's more mu, which means its DNA is better, which means it swims faster, which means it hits the egg harder, which means it has a better chance of getting to the egg. And that's a third of them. The other third are shorter and the other third are regular. If you don't accept this, you're an idiot. And also the Gen Z egg. It's an intergenerational, generationally skipped pattern that the entire universe is in. Look at the stars. Look at the... My cum is so much better than you young guys cum. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I had no job and no place to live, I'd make a wonderful father. Yes. I think the 20-year-old that uh, is still going to college and has a dorm... Uh, would make a better father than you growing the kid up in the damn dorm. You goof. The galaxies, the comparison between those two is a generation for the stars and galaxies. The stars came first and then they formed the galaxies. Do you think I'm fucking retarded? Yes. By forming around centers of gravity? Uh, but they're different generation. There are generations of stars, and then there are generations of galaxies. In between that, there were generations of planets. We're stars and galaxies. I came first, so I'm the star, and you came later, you're the galaxy. The formation of all our star power, Gen Z. So we need to fucking breed with you. High telomerase in the eggs, high telomerase in the sperm. You'd think that this would be worth a hundred dollars. So like he's he's just like playing science at this point. Like I should be able to breed with you because it works better for you to be old motherfuckers like me and Gen Z women. Yeah, a matchmaker for me. She has to go out to eat with me. This is not about sex. This is not about you giving her the money. How is it not about sex if you're talking about sperm and eggs and stuff? Sounds like it is. Honey, this is not a prostitution thing. This is you being a matchmaker and hooking me up. I, at the end of the day, I have to feel that she likes me. Don't make me start in with how Jesus hated money and how Bernie Sanders hated money to make you feel guilty. I live in a homeless shelter, socialist. I'm an anarcho-communist because of you. I'm an atheist because of you. But he loved Thomas the Doubter, and we're all a bunch of Marxists here. So get to the point. A hundred dollars to make this so. Make it happen, Cap'n. This is just strange. This is so fucking weird. He's yelling at, is it the internet? Is there a particular person who is going to find him a date for a hundred dollars this is so like weird pathetic all bad alex leon with the two dollar holla uh we are trying to get that goal tonight it's our last day of the last days uh, of this week uh we have a hundred and forty three dollars and fifty seven cents to go to hit that Hopefully we can get that tonight. Any donos, a choo-choo train. If you want to drop two, doop doop do do pop on through. Isolation Agris says, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. The cringe. Please stop it. The Karen again was a big love bass player. 13th, so you guys should get Dan Housen as a guest. Would be perfect with Scoot. It might be able to make that happen. We'll look into it. Lord of Nirgul says, I ride bike, touch one, touch call. Glanderson Booper and T Bob's Booper. That's the donies that we got tonight. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, what bums think they deserve the very best in life while doing nothing to get it? Do it live? Uh, I feel like everybody just about feels like they deserve more than they get out of this world. But the delusional ones with uh, a real disconnect from reality. Like our buddy pal here, they definitely, definitely feel like they deserve more. There's a level of a derangement and entitlement here that is uh, unrivaled on your day-to-day -day human beings. This is a special one. We got ourselves a real King Kong doucher.
Adam7190 says, if you smear jello on your boobs, pancakes won't need syrup. What? I don't know what that means, but I will agree with it. Uh, a lot of bums do great, do get great looking women. Oh, yeah. Like, it, one of the best things about being homeless is that you could just go live with a girl. Girls will just let you sleep with them and have their couch, or not their couch, their bed and their kitchen and their food. And then you live with, and you're not homeless no more. Yeah. He's doing homeless wrong. I know so many friends that were homeless, but they were like, nah, I got, I'm not homeless. I got a girl. And I'm like, that's you're, you're pathetic, but it's better than this type of pathetic, I guess. I don't know where the honor lies. I'm not interested in sluts. I'm not interested in hoes. I'm not interested in hookers. I'm Where's not the stimulus. Oh, okay. I'm not interested in drug addicts. I'm not interested in the unhealthy, the unclean. The unfathomably stupid, anything other than the women of Gen Z. So if you hook me up to one of those, you'll earn a hundred dollars. This is proof that I have the money. I'm not doing this to flash my wealth. I'm not interested in any woman that would date more than one guy at a time. If I don't get her phone number at the end of the dinner date or lunch date, then you don't get the hundred dollars. I'm not really too interested in Democrats or Republicans or Libertarians or the right wing. You have to be a Marxist. She's not getting the money. You are. You are a now a matchmaker. I will only date women between 18 and 21 that are gorgeous. Okay, well, they're, they're not going to stay 18 to 21 forever. They're gorgeous. Intelligent. And are they intelligent? I mean, some of them are, sure. Kind and don't. There's a difference between intelligence and wisdom. Wisdom comes with experience. Intelligence is kind of like how well you can retain and learn new information. And wisdom is like life experience. Don't give in to a guy two at a time. I reject Democrats and Republicans. I'm only into Marxists, Democratic Socialists, Socialists. Communist. You have a lot of requirements, man. You should, like, your standards are very high. Um. Anarchists. Only Marxists would understand. I don't care if you're a Christian, Muslim, or a Jew. I don't care if you're an atheist or an agnostic. If you are not kind to me, I do not date you. If you do Why not. Why is he he's just holding like what? Like $300, $400, $500? I don't probably know. Probably 800 bucks. Yeah, something like that. Whatever. Who cares? What? Make eye contact with me on the date. We're not dating. I'm not doing this to be cruel. I It'd need be so funny if someone just ran up and snatched that shit right out of his hand while he was yeah, filming I the would, video. I would enjoy that. <laughs> a nice, friendly, beautiful chick who will potentially give my kids strong baby DNA. We know about the telomerase and the egg and the sperm. If you're there dissing me, I'm there putting this money away. $100 to you for hooking me up. What so he is he talking to a pimp? Like what? What does he mean? Uh, maybe he's using his fan base and he's saying he, he has does. no fan base. They're all hate. It's all hate viewers because he's he's weird and he talks about this kind of weird shit all Wasn't the time. Wasn't he on a stream with like some other riffraff from the homeless shelter? And uh, the guy was telling him, that a get, him times. He "Get him! He's like, I can get you girls." Is that where they're this probably started? hookers? I don't know. I mean, like, I think that's where this started. I think he so. Thought. Is he so like he doesn't know how to find? Is, is he tr no? But he said it wasn't a prostitution thing. Yeah, he wants to find a or good he, girl, and he wants to pay you to help him find it. So he wants to. He doesn't want to pay a girl to have sex with him. He wants to pay a dude to find a girl to have sex with. Yeah, him. That's or at least wants. go on a date. Hold on, like when it looked like he had a job back in the day, he was like taking them to steakhouses yeah and but now he now wants to cook them a steak in their house 
go on a date to Incrediburger. If I don't get her phone number at the end of the date, or I believe that she's that, fucking with me and trolling. Have, have you ever had Incrediburger? I'm How sure much? it's not a steakhouse. No, it's in Spokane. Uh, I never had Incrediburger. with me. I'm not going to give you the money. Hi, everybody. If you're new to the stream, please like it. Everyone liking the stream helps us out a lot. Um, we have a goal tonight that I would like to point out. We are 82% of the way towards our goal. Uh, we have never not met the goal. And we are already 82%. If you can throw us a couple bucks, we'll be reading out your uh, donations through Streamlabs, not Super Chat, through Streamlabs. And then if you donate over 20 bucks, uh, Stephen Hawking will read it out. You know, Jesus hated money worshippers. I live at a homeless shelter. This is just what the money is that the government gave me from the COVID stimulus. Uh, this is $1,400. You'll get 100 of that if you hook me up. I don't play games. You come at me with sarcasm and bullshit. This is done. This is not how it works. Move on it, Generation this, Z. It doesn't work this way. Move on it, Generation Z. Yeah. Fucking creep, dude. I have one more. It, uh, it's called Me Because I'm Allergic to Rap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause it for a second. Is he going to break out into hives? I don't know. I am the walrus. Vladimir Lenin, Ilya Julianov. Brian D. Boyd. Goo 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 goo. So, uh, I also have to say um, that because things are opening back up in attention, Seattle. Attention, attention, Billy oh the Fridge is only 5 feet 8 inches. Don't listen to his lies about this matter. Not true. That's, yeah, you're right. Um, DP Fest could happen mm -hmm. this year because the shit's opening back up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many of you would be open to that. You can let us know, but we, we, we could probably get Hannibal and Monty and, uh, a, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of good people, a lot of good people. Yeah. Yeah. Is he going to break out in a rash because no. he's listening to hip-hop? His throat's going to swell up and he's going to suffocate. That'd be pretty funny. All it is is him laying there. If you don't like it, then why the fuck are you just laying there and letting it play? It, might, it must be like in a common room or something. So maybe someone else is playing it or something. Who knows? Dude, you are so fucking cringy. You are the Brock Lesnar of cringe, but you let me down. People didn't want to vote for you because you're such a piece of shit. You are such a piece of shit. Yep. Let's do this. Howdy, folks. I just want to thank each and every single non-human that called this wonderful, and I mean that actually, they're really good people. Because they, they, what they do is they protect kids, man. Like, like I saw when I was driving my son to school before COVID, the Westminster PD would be right down the street, man, you know, watching the kids. That's really awesome. You know, I like that. Um, huh. We had a nice officer come and knock on our door. So your wellness check, I'm sure that's what it was. Are you doing okay? Could I see the kids? I didn't answer the door. I'm not answering the door for cops anymore. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> then they're going to fucking kick your door in. If they have a warrant. And normally they do. I don't dislike cops. Uh, the good Is ones. This the amazing I don't atheist? With them, thanks. With them, thanks. With them, thanks. <laughs> you know, you're right. You know what? I've always had this weird theory that Shani always wanted to fuck TJ really bad. So she hooked up with this guy who I think kind of tries to mimic his look or at least his look 
uh, five years ago or whatever. I think Shani wants to fuck everybody really bad. It's very she strange. wanted Shabisky, yeah. and then she and then she had a weird, gross theory about that. But dislike them at all. So I'm not I'm not you know against cops at all. It, what's happening with with uh, blacks is horrible, and it needs to stop because they <laughs> uh, some of them are racist. Stop. I think I believe that. I do think but, um, some of them are racist. Yeah, we got our knock, and uh, he just he just drove away because he knows nothing's going on here. There's no there's no bad stuff going on. We have fights as 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 uh, husband and wife sometimes. So what's happening is like your neighbors are hearing you guys scream at each other, and they're sending people over. So and he's that's... like he's like Shan Shan, put me down, and she's like. Yeah, I'm gonna eat you. I'm yep. gonna eat you. I'm gonna smother you. FIFA, full farm, baby carrot, I bet, make it come. I bet when they like snuggle in bed at night, she's like a big Venus flytrap that just like kind of devours him. <sighs> but but this last thing you have to understand, it was mainly performance art. Ooh. Like I don't understand what you guys don't get. Uh, Nick Akato does it with Orlin, and uh, they put it on their Patreon, you know, because uh, YouTube doesn't like this type of stuff because it kind of seems like domestic violence, but it's not. It's just trolling. It's, it's <laughs> you know, it's trolling the trolls. Because you guys like to say I have a split lip. You see, it's, it's like that again. It's pretty split. It almost looks like you had a lip piercing and someone pulled it through your lip. Yeah. <sighs> I got to figure that out. I got to have a doctor look at it. They'll probably tell me I got cancer. I got to cut my lip off. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. If you had cancer in your lip, they don't just cut your lip off. They, like, take out, like, your jaw and all this other <laughs> shit. It's not Don't good. smoke, kids. Don't start. Don't smoke, for real. What's he drinking? So. Probably barks. I love you guys so much, especially the... The Uber trolls. Oh man, I love you, man. Do you really? Do you know how much I love you? How much? Oh well, that's the end of it. I don't. Isolation know. aggressors. They were fighting on live stream, and Rev said, uh, "Rev, she said he would hurt the kids." That's oh, well. I hope I, that's not I mean, true. That's terrible. Someone needs to be investigated if that's the case. That's terrible. Oh, he said the last thing was a performance art. Performance, that's not a good performance. <coughs> up, I love guys? how her gut is parting her boobs. Up, what is that in front of her? A freaking a rigatoni? A Alaroni? How are you guys? I'm going to take a sip of the Dr. Pepper. I took a shower. And I got myself all nice. <laughs> and cozy in my cozy my cozy oh, robe God. I have some delicious I, food here oh, God. some lasagna rollatini I made <laughs> and some pizza Hold frites on. one with um, oh, God. the uh, powdered <laughs> sugar in a plain one and then I have an arancini right here, which is a Italian rice ball that I made. And then for dessert, we have the oh, cannoli. dessert. Look at that. The cannoli dip with some strawberries and pineapple. Wasn't there two pastries on that plate full so of carbs? Good. Why do you need dessert? Eat. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Eat. I Look at him in the background. The eat, queen, just, eat. Uh, yeah, girl. yeah, like, Shani, give me, eat. Give me the lasagna. Eat some more. Yeah, yeah. I'm to try that. Rev's like uh, salacious crumb. Oh, yeah. Whew. This looks so good. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. Oh, God. This... Oh, God, I can't do it. I can't do it. I was going to play this video, but I'm moving on to something else. I can't do it. I can't do it. I literally almost puked just a second ago. Ha, ha, ha. The French. Recognized everywhere for their excellence. This is a California champagne from Parmesan. Here we go. Oh, shit. Never mind. Um, 
<laughs> read the Streamlabs, and then we'll go to the next segment. I already read the Streamlabs. Oh. While you were gone. Oh, okay. Everything else got read out loud. Oh, my, my word. Yeah? My word. All right, we'll go. To, I, I cannot. I, I, I'm, I'm thrown off by this. Ba bow bow. disappear. Ludes disappear. Shanny for Christ, ludes disappear. Oh, God. It worked. She's gone. Wow. She's gone now. Evidence disappear. And for dessert, she had two pastries on that plate. And she had to make a dessert plate. That's fattening around. Number nine. Someone did this like thing where he makes them look all old. This is hilarious. Nine. After a <laughs> meal, women might really want sex, but that doesn't mean they want to do it. <laughs> oh, man. I love how the house has aged with him. Yep. The level of dirt and grit and grime. What up, YouTube? Was that it? With your boy yep. King Cobra, with oh, chill man. like a rock star villain. So, the uh, goddamn fucking dishwasher fucking get done washing. I had a pretty interesting day today. I walked down to the bank to get some grocery monies. And all the way down to the bank, someone called me a loser and drove away. So I flipped him off and kept about my day. Then a, a third of the way to the bank, I had a fan give me a ride the rest of the way to my bank. Appreciate that. <clears throat> I get out of Albertsons. And the lady, there was a lady there who gave me a dollar to help finish paying for everything. I was like 77 cents short. And she was like, oh, I'm pretty sure I got a dollar. She pulled one out and handed it to me. So I appreciate that. And then some douchebag near the Albertsons parking lot was like, fuck King Cobra. You need to get laid. So I told that motherfucker off and I made him cry. I wonder how many in his town know of him, though. He might actually be kind of popular in his town. I mean. For the wrong reasons, but. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like people will people will recognize you and like yell out their window at you. Yeah. For all the wrong reasons. No, sometimes for all the right reasons. Like, I'm sick of it, dude. I've been getting fucked with by random people here in town the last couple of days. And it's like, I don't go out of my way to fucking harass other people unless they harass me. And then on the way back up to my apartment, one of my neighbors saw me. He's like, hey, Josh, what up? And I'm like, dude, what do you do? And. I got it right back to my place, so I appreciate that. It's all in all just ups and downs, you know. He just turned 30 this year, and I just turned 40, and I'm like, I aged. Like, I don't feel bad because there are people that age so much worse than me. That's it. I don't know. Didn't you just play a clip of you right before this? Oh, Rev? <laughs> no, the clip of... Oh, Shannon? Aged... aged oh, yeah. I was, I, was, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was joking that that was you. No, a lot of people hate me, but I choose to focus on the people who are nice to me and who support my content. Good people call. People who, who don't support Except me are just don't. miserable cocksuckers. You focus suckers. on them right now as you're doing no, I got right a text now. message. They're like, oh, my God, I bet smoking tobacco outside is killing you right now, isn't it? Not really. I honestly don't mind. No, one day it was just like, hey, you know, I got to thinking what a pain in the ass it was to clean my old apartment. Someone said, how old is Cobes? He's 30. Cobes is 30 and I'm 40. I, he turned 30 this year and I turned 40 this year. And uh, if I end up, he is 10 years younger than me. I went in the lottery building my dream house. I want to have to do that all over again if I keep smoking indoors. Maybe so you should like, start eh, ride bike, Ben. You believe that shit? I, I run If you want to keep up elliptical. with Cobes, you're going to have to start ride bike. I'm just bullshitting, yes. <laughs> no, the apartments I live in, they went smoker-free, and uh, that's just fine. Like, I that's love living fine. up here enough that I can go outside and have a bowl of tobacco or smoke a cigarette, you know, and be just fine. And there's no know. sense in fighting it just because I tried fighting it at my last place, and look what happened, you know? My lease got termed. My last Papa Head said, damn, those bald spots got him early. They did. They did. I have a bald spot. It's on the back of my head. 
I still have hair on the top of my head, but I have a bald spot on the back of my head. My dad had the same thing. I have um, superior genetics and whatever those tulparoids or whatever that you're not uh, that tall. What's his name honestly. was talking about? I'm tall. I'm handsome. I'm beautiful. I have no conditions. Take no medication. Beautiful head of hair. Basically, what I'm saying is I should squirt babies and everybody watching man, female or animal. If you want fat babies, they're not going to be fat. Was very be. patient. That was a product of my environment. I don't feel like testing that with my new place if you know what i mean no i love where i'm living at right now honestly i don't mind smoking outside i really don't it was smoker friendly when i moved in but one day i got a note on my door and uh management that manages the places now basically said that smoking is no longer allowed in the units and i said okay i can comply with that that's not a problem no, but I go around town, and it's like I hear people say, I hate King Cobra. He taught my kid to say, suck a tallywhacker. <laughs> Who says, no, no. That was, the vo- <laughs> that was the voices in your head. He taught my kid to say, suck a tallywhacker. Don't teach kids about the tallywhacker, dude. And it's like, first of all, I can't control what your kid does. Also, I got a knife that I carry with me. Check this son bitch out. I was thinking about setting a Patreon goal where you shave my fucking head on a, on a, a super show. If we met the super show goal, you shave my fucking head then bald. you're going to be bald? Yeah. It was an idea I was thinking about, but I'm, I'm floating it out there to know. Can I shave it with one of those knives that he's holding? No. Can I, can I no. scalp you? Well, what's the Patreon goal for me to scalp you? I don't want to. I would die if you scalp me. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I wouldn't scalp you. I would. Just... It's pretty sexy. I got a sheath that I can put with my belt and carry with me, so I can carry it on my side and be prepped for anything. Oh, damn near anything. No, you put me in a fucking group home, and I swear to fucking Lucifer, I'll be the worst motherfucker to put in there. Okay. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> My intellect Damn. allows me to survive in society. Like, I feel like that's a stereotype, YouTube. Oh, you got autism? Why aren't you in a group home tucked away where society can't see or look at you, you fucking... And it's like, dude, I hate that stereotype. Like, there's nothing wrong with living in a group home. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. There are some people... Who's whatever you want to call it, schizophrenia, autism, it's all disorders, and they can't function with that shit. I'm just saying, I like if I want to make some spicy ass fuck mac and cheese, I got the ingredients, I can physically go to the store if I have the money, buy the shit, come back to my apartment and physically cook it for myself, then I'm overqualified for the group home. I'm sorry, but that's the goddamn truth. Like, I'm not trying to talk shit on people who are in that situation. I can't begin to imagine what that's like, dude. That's why I got so much mad respect for the people out there that they call handlers. Cobes is saying when he uh, has enough money, he can go out and he can buy uh, mac and cheese and cook his own mac and cheese. That's why he's too good for a group home. He can cook his own mac and cheese. Pretty interesting, the mac and cheese defense. I can't live in a group home. I can cook my own mac and cheese. Interesting. People who handle the uh, special needs who are in those uh, situations. It's sort of like if you got a bunch of tigers and lions in the circus of life, and a couple of those lions are a little fucked off of in life. the head. You got the special trainers who are just like, you know what I'm saying? That came out wrong, but you know what I mean. And you know what the funny part of it is? Most of these people who live in group homes are blissfully unaware of how retarded they really are. They're just happy, go lucky, <laughs> and carefree. And that's the good thing They're about Cobes. Happy. He's totally aware of how 
highly regarded he is. Ooh, and he's the rest a sweet of the boy. I want to go hang out with him. Fucking four times more miserable than they are. Stick them in front of a TV with some SpongeBob SquarePants and some chocolate milk, and they're just happy as can be. Maybe that's why us retards get picked on is because we're happier in life with less, where people outside of that spectrum have to crave more to be happy, which really makes you think, YouTube. People get that high corporate paying job, and it's like, wow, good for you, champ. Look at you go. But the, even that doesn't make you happy. So you got to pick on people with disorders and disabilities. That's what makes me happy. I yes. wouldn't put it past my trolls to pick on somebody with cancer. To be oh, honest. I would do. I would pick if on somebody with pick cancer. On somebody who I would pick on somebody with cancer about their cancer the day they were diagnosed. If it was funny. If it's not funny, of course, I'm not going to do that. But if I thought of something funny enough that I would then say it the day they were diagnosed with cancer about their cancer, I would 100% do that but if it was autism, funny enough. I don't put it past them because my trolls are more miserable in life than I am. And that I might be true. I think it's funny as fuck. I love watching how miserable my trolls are. Every time they text me some dumbass shit, I rule their sad fucking world. Otherwise, <laughs> they wouldn't text me that stupid shit. You are a hub. And you see what I did there? You're a hub for content. You text me, I rule your world. You don't text me, I got you to stop bullying me. Oh. You can't win. If anybody wants to win against Cobes, they're doing it wrong. Does this give you fulfillment? Let the Cobra win. You're harassing a 30-year-old high-functioning autistic. That that's drunk all the time. Who is clearly more happy with his life than you are your own. Sure, a lot of my trolls might make a shit ton more money than I do. And they could just sit there and say, Oh, I'm bored and I want laugh out louds, but secretly it's like, dude, this guy makes less money than me and he's happier in life. Fuck him, that makes me jealous. That's exactly how it is. I am jealous of this. But I also love cars. I get my fair amount of hate. People telling me that, oh, you're going to be this and that, and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, wow, dude. If anything, my trolls belong in a group home more than I do. I don't know why I go live. I go live because I want to provide content for my fans. And if some asshole wants to steal it, and put it on their channel. Damn. That's promotion on my channel at the end of the day. Yes, you're right, Cobes. What's Good this? Outlook. What is The CBD vape? e-liquid vape pen that my buddy Alex That's Campbell not a pen. used to me. That's a goddamn vape I haven't seen this in a while, have you, you two? Breaker, One breaker. Second. Warlord update. Alex was arrested for failure to comply and is being held for violating his probation and is awaiting a court date. Alex's court date was on March 11th. His bomb was revoked, and he was sentenced to six months in the Natroni, in the Natrona County Detention Center. I don't know who that is, but damn. That's the guy that gave him the vape. Oh, man. Warlord. There we go. One more way to consume nicotine. I love it. Thanks for the hot box, Cobes. Yeah, I'm coming go along nicely, Cobes. For Let's play this next thing. It's about to stop you two. Slap ham. We're out in the middle of fucking nowhere. All right, so I'll take a couple shots with the pistol. You want you want to shoot the shotgun? Oh yeah. All right. You know it. Oh yeah. You know it. Hello. Uniquely American. Fuck you. You know, and that, and hear me out. Like, I get I'm so... Listening. That was the hat, right? Or maybe this isn't the same oh, hat. Ho, 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 tired. Ho, ho, ho. Of the, the stereotype against Americans as being gun crazy. It just fits into that typical stereotype, doesn't it? That Americans are 
you know, that, that stereotype, that negative seven years bad stereotype luck. that Americans are lazy idiots who love guns too much. I hate that stereotype. Jesus. This is why gun owners get a bad name. The accidental discharge. <laughs> That's He's a cool like gun. pointing it at his face. Yeah, I and, like that um, green gun. It's cute. King Cobra JFS is going to give you some proper gun safety tips. Do you want to prevent accidental yes! discharge of your firearms? August. Here's a pro tip. Cheers. Oh, I didn't mean to engage the, the there. hammers, you, but there you go. Keep it empty unless you have to use it. Tied to the gun with some black and green zip ties. Oh, is my dad proud of me for selling my pistol? Ah. I think he's a lot more relieved. I mean, I don't see why the fuck he was so worried, you know. I haven't done anything stupid with my shotgun, so it wasn't going to be anything different with my pistol. Pro tip, and then you won't have an accidental discharge, will ya? <laughs> Keep the gun empty and always handle it like it's loaded. The two biggest things they tell you about gun safety. But when but he's people... Yeah, yeah, you're not, hey, you're not acting like it's loaded when you're spinning it on your finger like that. Yeah. Oh. Fail to do those kinds of things. You know, shootings aren't the only things that give guns a bad name. The idiots who are stupid with them in other ways also affect Savage. the way people view them. I am being careful with it. Huh? Ready, YouTube? Yeah. Booyah, both triggers at fucking once. Oh! Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. They have an old RV that Take they use for target arm and practice. Tuck it to your side. So when you cushion the stock, it's tucked into place like that. Don't be doing this shit. That's called chicken winging. Don't chicken wing. You go to shoot your gun like this. What the hell is he doing? going to hit himself in the face. <sighs> he had it like on his chin very, like that. It's going to recoil like that into his We're face. hunting for pedos. <laughs> is that where you keep pointing the gun at yourself? <laughs> and I've had this thing for years and I've never and refused to do anything stupid. Casper, Wyoming. Hey! Hey, Dad, I need to borrow $340 for groceries. Oh, it's a good papa. Good papa. That's what's up. <laughs> He's going to his cave. He lives in a fucking cave. You hear him? He's like, at least he doesn't live at my house anymore. <laughs> Man's got to eat. <laughs> yes. Wow. Beautiful. That's a good papa. Take KJK care of is talking about retiring from you. By the what? way, he has Jared Genesis door behind him. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna do my video. I'm gonna retire from YouTube. I don't mean I'm gonna retire from YouTube in the future. Why? I know I want to say thank you to all my fans and friends around the world. Oh, no. around the world. Thank you, KJK. And to DP, Billy the Frizz, and Ben for hitting me out there. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> I did not know he was gonna do that. I'm flattered. If you want to retire, that's your choice. I support whatever you think is best for you, but we will miss you if you leave. On YouTube. Cause I'm gonna retire from YouTube in the future. Retire. I will retire from YouTube. I will retire from YouTube. I will retire from YouTube in the future. 
Oh, no, I did so many. No, I did. No, I did so many videos on myself on YouTube. You last three years. You last three years. I know my third. My third anniversary came up in June. On June. Yeah, in June. Then my third anniversary. Me being on YouTube. Yeah. Cause I will retire from YouTube in the future. I will retire from YouTube. 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 I will retire from YouTube in the future. In the future. In the future. So do we still have him for a while? I don't know. I don't know what he means by in the future. Does he mean tomorrow? Does he mean 20 years from now? Where I'm at on YouTube. You know what I mean? Quite DP. Of course, DP, of course. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I just said DP. Yeah, DP. Bill the Frizz and Ben, that got me where I'm at today. Damn. Drunk and Peasants. Holy peasants. shit. And I don't know why they call them that. Drunk and Peasants. Drunk and pe- Peasants. I can't even say it right. Like. <laughs> Drunk and Peasants. You're so Bill great. Bill the Frizz and Ben, that got me. They put me out there all way. Yeah. And I'm sharing my stuff. Yeah. But they, share, they share all my videos and everything. Yeah. On YouTube, they're great. On I will YouTube. retire from YouTube you in the future. From you. In the future, in the future. I'm, I'm, I'm confused by the I in mean, the I future. And I did so many videos of myself coming with great, coming up with great ideas and stuff. Yeah, they're great. I, mean, I came with so many great ideas on YouTube. I love them. You know, they're man, amazing. Police cop the wheelchair drive. Yep. Yeah. And all the other stuff I can't remember. Like I did, why well, I just said it now, the wheelchair drive. I can't remember. I can't remember <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. 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 And I will retire from YouTube in the future. <laughs> so y'all, y'all better enjoy me. Sorry, y'all. We yeah. do. Y'all we better enjoy me on YouTube. Yeah. Because I'm going to retire from YouTube in the future. Wow. In the future. I enjoy him now while it YouTube. lasts. I am going to retire from YouTube. I am going to retire from YouTube in the future. In the future, and all my core fans and friends around the world got me where I'm at. Say, anyway, drunk and peasant, barely the friends and Ben, and they talk about me all the time. Oh they talk about me tonight. We are in the heart streams, man. Tonight. We are DP podcast, barely, barely the friends and Ben. We're talking about they you tonight. Talking about me on a podcast tonight. Yeah. We are. Me was hiring. Me was hiring from YouTube. Yeah. I will retire from YouTube in the future. No. I will retire from YouTube in the future. I will retire from YouTube in the future. I will retire from YouTube in the future. I oh. will retire from YouTube. Oh. oh no. I'm gonna say bye now. I will retire from I will retire from YouTube in the future. I will retire from YouTube. I will you know, retire from YouTube. Here, I will retire from YouTube. <laughs> I will retire from YouTube in the future. 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 We uh we will throw you a retirement party if you're if you're going. That's was that his last video? The least we could do. I hope not. Let's see. I hope not. For he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Which nobody can deny. Nobody can that was his it. last video. It was five hours ago. Oh my god! I hope he. How? What's the last video before that? <laughs> five hours ago. So ten hours. He's done two videos. No, they were both five hours ago. Oh god! And then the last one before that was a day ago. Okay, we gotta we gotta keep an eye on this. If there's not another video tomorrow, we want starting today, guys. This is the beginning of the countdown. To his inevitable return and or retirement. This like is, Jesus. This is day one. KJK, day one. He's basically Jesus. This is day one. And a recording. We're going to check in again on Tuesday and see if he's back. After this is day request, one. I will now be doing a spell linked to the previous spell through this candle jar, where I will be using the cash cow sigil to cast a spell drawing wealth and abundance into your life and draw you into the land of milk and honey.
Is he going to do like some weird ritualistic cinnamon challenge? Is going in his gullet? Is he going to cough and snoot and snort? Is he making Nestle quick? What fuck sort of ritual is this? Is it literal milk and honey? What the hell is the brown stuff? Is that just quick in a bowl? Is he trolling? He's making honey chocolate milk, right? Yeah, I don't know what sort of ritual this is. This is not a potion, dude. This is Ovaltine. Honey laden Ovaltine. You lighting a goddamn candle in your milk and honey, papa? Oh, no, this bothers me. There's a hole in the world tonight. There's a cloud of fear and sorrow. There's a hole in the world tonight. Don't let there be a hole in the world tomorrow. <sighs> Adding some wax to your Ovaltine, honey wax. Yeah. Fuck your goal. You Fuck showed that goal. goal, August. Cheers. Thank you. We are there. Goal! And I say we. It's obviously just me here with the goal, so I'll collect all the money. Oh, hey, Ben. Goal! Goal! So our buddy here is making sealed. Ovaltine. The energy is sealed, and the spell is cast. So won't it be? All right. I don't. I don't know. That was trash. Uh, here's one with Skippy. Hi everyone, I am Skippy, <laughs> and uh, this is probably going to be a relatively hey, quick video for me. This week, I have three topics. They are incels, haters, and hey Walmart. Okay. Let's get to the first one. Okay, incels. Uh, let's start there. I was on a podcast with a guy named, I believe it was uh, Brandon Keating, uh, and Brandon Can we get Skippy on? Probably. Skippy has, like, the the all the makings to be a good guest. Because he had said to the people from his podcast, uh, who are some famous incels, and people threw out names, but of the, like, three or four names that people threw out... I was the only, I guess, older one, <laughs> and the other ones are like teenagers, and so I, uh, that was kind of how he found me, and then we started talking, but we talked about for a second what an incel is, and from what I gathered both from him... The term involuntarily celibate, shortened to incel, refers to self-identifying members of an online subculture based around the inability to find a romantic or sexual partner despite desiring one in a state they describe as inceldom or incelibacy. And from just like a quick Google search of uh, the meaning of the word incel, because again, I'm old. I'm not a boomer. I'm not old enough to be a boomer, but... Uh, I had Class to look it up, 96. and I guess incel stands for involuntarily celibate. But here's the thing. Um, I don't think that I am an incel because I am voluntarily celibate. Yeah. Like I would imagine across the bottom. Have do you think he really is voluntarily? I though? do, yeah. 
He says, I've had chances. I think he's had chances to have sex. Popped and he door. wants more than that. And these girls that he has chances to fuck don't want more than a fuck. It's voluntarily celibate. <laughs> I, uh, um, even as unattractive as I am, my personality and my wiles... My wiles? Uh, are as such as I've had chances. It's less and... about you and your personality or anything about you and more about the state of the girls that are just trying to connect with somebody and they're willing to lay on their back a little bit to get there. It's more about them, dude. You've had these girls who would have probably let you throw one in them, but you wanted to marry them the second you met them and that scared them off. Yeah. Even now, I just know that if I wanted to not be a virgin, I wouldn't be, but I am choosing to wait. I'm just not good with girls. But I don't think you necessarily have to be good with girls in order to not be a virgin. Uh, feel free to tell me your thoughts in the comments, even though I don't necessarily read all the comments all the time because <laughs> of the next topic, which is haters. Haters. If you go into the comment section of a lot of places, haters are horrible people. And sometimes they have YouTube channels and sometimes they make videos about you and say how you are always begging for money for your channel and that you're cringy and pathetic. And sometimes they make a video uh, Shit, don't our fans always uh, say we're begging for money and that we're cringy and pathetic? Uh, yes. That's, that's, not, that's not haters, man. I think you're talking about fans. <laughs> Saying that you hardly ever post any videos, but then when you do post a video, you get crapped on for, every, <laughs> for a lot of the things you say in that video. So they prove themselves to be haters because they'll crap on you whether you're making videos or whether you're not making uh, videos. Like when you're not making videos, you're apparently a uh, loser. <laughs> and when you are making videos that happen to make them cringe. Anyways, uh, so just generally speaking, Glad I would say like. block the haters. Block and the haters. If you want to tell me how much I suck, you can leave it in the comments. That doesn't mean that I'll necessarily uh, read it. Uh, but because I know one hater specifically doesn't like this, now is a good time to tell you, uh, if you want me to for sure read what you have to say, feel free to donate $5 or more to I Am Skippy on Venmo and I Am Skippy on PayPal or the dollar sign I Am Skippy on the Cash app because on all three of those places, there is a comment place for you to say what it is you think. And, and now Skippy says, I know I can be cringy and awkward, but I'm also a person with feelings. Oh. So if, if you, you want to be mean, send me money to counteract the hate. Yeah, be hey. mean with cash. He's, See, that's what Cobes should be he's doing. He's got that donate to talk shit. If you want to tell me that I suck, feel free to do it in the comment section when sending me money. Uh, yeah. Or, uh, I'm also on Cameo. If you want to uh, get a Cameo from me and say, Hey, Skippy, will you please explain to me why you're such a loser because I think you're pathetic? They give you a lot of room to tell me exactly what you think about me. Uh, yeah. That's a haters thing. Um, hey, Walmart. Before I get to Hey, Walmart. Oh. Uh, no, I no. No, I wanted to hear the Hey Walmart. If it's not going right into that, I'm going Skippy to Skippy Squad. Listen up. This I'm part of the Skippy Squad. Okay. Uh, really quickly, this is uh, kind of cool. If you have been supporting me and my channel, this weekend is the weekend that I'm going to start sending out the link to uh, the date that I went on with Olivia. So, uh, yeah, Skippy Squad members, be expecting a message from me. Uh, if you're on the Cash App, Cash App doesn't allow me to do a direct message to you. So if you send me money on the Cash App, this is going to sound uh, weird, but I'll send you the link on uh, Cash App by requesting money from you. Got that? 
refuse <laughs> or reject the money that I'm requesting from you, but that's the link to the video. Uh, but otherwise, on Venmo, I'll be sending you a message to uh, the date video that I've been promising for a while, and uh, same with PayPal. I, I'm 99% positive that I can send you a message saying thanks for uh, supporting me on Skippy Squad, $5 or more. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get back to you. Here's a link to that video to say thanks. Okay. Final hey, thing. Walmart. Hey, Walmart. Oh. If you are going to put in your clearance section a uh, thermos for $2.50, right? And, or like a little uh, lunch bag, right? That has unicorns on it that says, follow your dreams. And especially, oh, is hey Walmart, plug. if you are going to put in your clearance section a Hannah Montana lunch bag, and hey Walmart, if you're going to charge $2.50, you bet your ass I'm going to buy them. <laughs> I am the proud owner of two very uh, effeminate, I would say, uh, lunch bags that I am now the proud owner of because... Not effeminate. Those are right for little price. girls. I mean... Is I, he shaking? Yeah. I don't have current need for condoms. But if you sell a box of condoms... For fifty cents out, well, unused. If you send a, if you sell a box unused, of unused yeah, condoms, what, what? Yeah, that goes without saying. Yes, unused. Hey, I got a box of used condoms. Yeah, I, like what? I wouldn't even sell those for fifty cents. If I had a box of used condoms, I think I can get at least a hundred bucks for a box of used condoms. I think condoms. it's kind of weird how he specified unused yeah. for fifty cents at Walmart in the clearance section. Who's reusing them? <laughs> Uh, they're not reusing. I'll even buy those, even though I don't have any for them currently. I don't have uh, two lunch as to put in two different lunch pails currently. But this is fucking weird, dude. Two dollars and fifty cents in the current section. This you might be the weirdest thing I've ever seen him butt do. That I'm going to buy these. Hey Walmart, thanks for my Miley Cyrus. Lunch is this bag. like dog whistling or something? Guys, he that's it shaking. for this week. Uh, feel free to subscribe and click like. And uh, be watching for... Within 250 feet of a Miley Cyrus lunch bag? Maybe. Is he court ordered? Or, like, why is uh, he shaking? More videos sooner. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try and do once a week, and I'm going to go live uh, on... I'm not sure if it's this Sunday, but probably next Sunday for sure. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks, everyone. Click like, subscribe. Share with your friends if you want. Follow your dreams. Yeah. Swallow your creams. That was fucking strange, dude. That was insanely strange. That was so odd there at the end. He's yeah, literally yeah. shaking like he's holding contraband. Miley Cyrus, yeah. Like he's trying to Adam like he's trying to coke mule some uh, a kilo on his butt cheeks across the, 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 the Colombian border. Weird. It was strange. Weird. Weird Skippy. Okay, I just want I want to offer a peace deal between the Israeli nation and the Palestinians on Gaza Strip. About time, Gail. Wow. Thank you. President Gail about to fix it all with the, look at her pink blazer, by the way. That's a pink blazer. Yeah. I propose the formation of a Mexican Palestinian state where we will buy 10 miles of land in one long strip from the Pacific Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico in the north of Mexico and form a Mexican-Palestinian state. I have written some brilliant law. I wrote this in 2019, um, and I am the true U.S. president. And I, this will solve the border crisis, and there's no need for there to be rockets being shot at each other in Israel right now. This will solve the, Israel's land problem, and it will also uh, give free housing and training to all the Palestinians. Yeah, we'll 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 pay for the for the move. We'll move them all 
to the Mexican Palestinian state that will have a national health care plan set up, free housing that has to pass U.S. housing code inspections, free training for occupations. I like how she has Fox and, News on in the background. You see that on her TV right there? And we're going to, yeah, read it. It's really good. I, I've written some brilliant law. I'm having trouble enforcing it because Lori McBride has been running Israel Damn since it, 2017, Lori. and she doesn't seem to care Damn it, Lori. about all the chaos she's been causing. So, yeah, all of Mexico, 10 miles south of the U.S. border, I propose should become a Mexican-Palestinian state, and we'll build a wall along the southern end of it. Oh and we're going to be using space-age technology. I want you to read the law that I wrote. Okay? Yeah. I wrote it in 2019. Don't be late. It is brilliant. You guys don't need to be shooting rockets at each other right now. Yeah, just come move. This to needs Mexican to stop. Palestine. <laughs> okay? Unless you all like killing each other. What? Um, there's, there's no need for this. If they all like killing each other, should you designate a new area for the ones that just like killing each other? Let the Israelis have the land. They don't have a lot of land. And we'll give you your own country. Yes, your own country. In Mexico. <laughs> With a climate very similar to where you're living right now, North, the northern Mexican area, will buy that land <laughs> with, using donations from the nation of Israel along with the United States and donations taken from the International Charity Bank, <laughs> must purchase all the land 10 miles south of the U.S.-Mexico border for the price of a billion dollars. Mexico can use this billion? money any way they want, as long as how they use it honors conspiracy law. Yep. yep. They, they must allow this land purchase as punishment for allowing Lori's bands of criminal migrants to the U.S. border in violation of conspiracy law. Oh, damn. The land purchased will be one long, narrow strip of land 10 miles south of the U.S.-Mexico border, extending from the Pacific Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. It will constitute the newly formed Mexican-Palestinian state. All Palestinians currently living in Israel will be moved to this land. Um, uh, before they're moved here, we will construct homes for them and build a wall that extends on the southern border of this 10-mile wide strip from the Pacific Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. All Palestinians from Israel will be given free homes here that, have to be in that has to be inspected to pass U.S. construction laws with safe and healthy electricity, plumbing, etc., and be large enough for the needs of their families. If they're not trained for a job, they will be immediately put into a free training program. Yeah. And while in training, we'll receive free housing, a free home computer, free internet, electricity, food, and electricity. Fuck, I want uh, utilities. Me. Once the training is finished, the free utilities, internet, and food will end. And then they have to go to work and earn their food, internet, and utilities. Every home will have a free grocery cart that they can load onto the public transportation system. We're going to build a public transportation system. What a deal. And bring to the grocery store to buy groceries. Anyways, we'll, we're going to construct buses, railways, and trains based on the public transportation systems of Japan. And with our modern technology, we can do this e easily. All grocery stores got to be set up with home delivery options Thank or they God. can go online and order their groceries and have them home delivery, but Why do you home delivered. The, and go ahead and read my law. Why do you have the grocery cart go on the tram if they're just going to home deliver everything? I think it's a little complicated, Gail. How about this? How about you cook a nice lasagna every night and you go dish it up at every house? I think they would love to have some of your lasagna better than Shady for Christ lasagna. I've Gail. seen her uh, her cooking channel. She's got a quality cook. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the solution. You don't need to fight. Give the land to Israel, and we'll give you your own country. You don't have to live there. You know. It's, it's a no-win situation, what you've got going on right now. Neither party's going to be satisfied. Israel doesn't have a lot of land. Let them keep their land. 
Uh, and then we will give you a new home with a climate very similar to where you currently live. Yeah. So I well, go ahead and read border. the fine. deal that I offer you so you guys will stop fighting each other. This will also solve the border crisis because we're going to make it very difficult to go through. Somebody uh, they're not going to there's going to be a wall built on the southern end of this. built to Palestine. And we get the ball rolling on this. Yep. Yeah. Get the word out. Somebody just forward this to Palestine, please. So can, can somebody send this to the weekend? D do a do 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 a loopa? Do a loopia? Do we a loopa? Do we loopa? Do we lupus in the news? Do we loop? Do a do a leapa? Dia lupa? I don't know her fucking name. Chalupa? I'm such a boomer. Can somebody forward this to uh Nelly Furtado. I Nelly don't... Furtado. What? I don't know. Everybody who's standing up for Palestine right now, can they get forward this message, please? Can we please have a forwarding so that we can end this mess, the Israeli-Palestine conflict, with a little bit of Mexican border socialism? Can we please end this? Diet Chalupa. It got me, sir. It got me so humiliated. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. And you better well learn to love it. There we go. Do we get any Streamlabs? Revit Kalinsky said, can we watch more weird bald guy ASMR, please? Sure. August said, fuck your goal. And we then, got the goal. And August said, fuck your goal, and got the goal when he said, fuck your goal. That's funny. You're funny, guy. And then everything else is uh, up to date. Thank that's, you guys again for getting us great. the goal tonight. This is a very low-energy episode of Drunken Peasant. Is it? Yes. Very ah, they're putting adamantium in me. Ah. God damn it. Encouraging news on this Friday evening. California's top doctor says we are ready to fully open. He outlined what life is going to look like come June 15th. No more masks, no more capacity limits. Businesses are ecstatic. NBC Bay Area's Anusha Rasta joins us now in San Jose with the details. Anusha. Rasta. Could you imagine him the last name Rasta? Well, Raj, the owner of this restaurant in San Jose isn't just glad that all of those capacity restrictions are going away on that day, which of course means more customers and more money. He says he's also relieved that he can bring more workers back. Requiring people to do For the first time ever today, Secretary of the California Health and Human Services, Dr. Mark Galley, outlined exactly what will change when California fully... So, uh, uh... You know what? I've had it with the news lately because it's this kind of shit. It's like, yeah, things are opening back up. We know. Like, what? <sighs> I don't know. It's what's the new. This is the new. Reopens on June 15th. Capacity limitations for businesses will be completely eliminated. No more physical distancing required. There will be very limited masking rules indoors. No quarantine and isolation requirements for California travel. For outdoor events with more than 10,000 people, the state will recommend verifying vaccinations or asking for a negative COVID-19 test. And for indoor events with more than 5,000 people, the state will Yeah, they did this uh, at T-Mobile Park where you can go to baseball games now, but if you're if you're vaccinated, you don't have to social distance, but all the vaccinated seats suck. Like they're all out in the outfield. Hmm. It's kind of weird. So if you're not vaccinated, you get the good seats. Uh, well, you can sit in the not vaccinated seats if you want, but they're distanced, so there's not as many of them. Uh, oh, the yeah. Vaccination verification or a negative COVID test. The doctor says it's all possible because of California's increasing vaccination rate and dropping hospitalizations. So on both those metrics, vaccinations and our state of uh, COVID in our hospitals, we feel like we are tracking well towards meeting our goals of being ready for June 15th. 
UCSF infectious diseases expert Dr. Monica Gandhi understands that some people might be nervous about it, but agrees that it is the right time to make the move. We are now at a 61% first vaccination rate uh, in the state of California. That is the point at which other places that were vaccinating faster than we, like Israel and the UK, opened to this degree, opened with these same rules, and did not see increases in transmission. I'm yeah, so it's looking good. Things are looking good as long as these variants don't get out of control. This gentleman has a Rick and Morty uh, pickle Rick pin on his on his uh, lapel suspenders. He's definitely a cool guy. Is he definitely? Oh, he's definitely a cool guy. Can't wait to hear what hopes for a bipartisan commission to investigate nope. what You'll happened never on. Know. You'll never know what he says. January 6th are fading fast, almost as fast as some Republican leaders are sprinting from a key question, whether GOP lawmakers were in communication with the insurrectionists. See how they run. See how no, they run. No, I don't think run. so. Across the chop. Any Baby communication vagina. with any of the people who uh, stormed Capitol Hill. Thank you for the question. Everybody have a nice day. Everybody have a nice day. The House quick. Minority Leader Kevin quick. McCarthy was so quick. It's as if the getaway car was parked just down the street. Over in the Senate, GOP the shop. Leader Mitch McConnell, who initially sounded open to a commission, later showed off his cat-like reflexes, sidestepping the idea. After careful consideration, I've made the decision to oppose the House Democrats' slanted and unbalanced proposal for another commission to study the events of did January the 6th. Did somebody come in and feed him raw hamburger once every couple hours? You didn't know hours? he could move so fast, did you? Like a ninja. Ooh, ooh. Now the bill to create a bipartisan 9-11 style commission may be doomed in the Senate. Surprised? Remember, it was McConnell who talked a good game around Trump's second impeachment trial. They stormed the Senate floor. They tried to hunt down the Speaker of the House. They built a gallows and chanted about murdering the vice president. They did this because they'd been fed wild falsehoods wow. by the most powerful man wow. on earth. I do, I do declare. Because he was angry, he lost an election. But McConnell also voted to acquit Trump. Oof. Not exactly a profile in courage, more like cowardice and calculation. Damn. That's because Republican leaders have made the decision to put next year's midterm election ahead of the good of the country, and that Trump is the key to winning back control of Congress. You remember the Mussolini of Mar-a-Lago writing in his blog, which has become his online diary, you could say. Trump demanded that Republican leaders shut down this commission, saying, hopefully Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy are listening. Were they listening? It's like he pressed his button for another Diet Coke. Huh? Ooh. Did he really have the Diet Coke button? Yeah. Was that confirmed? Yes. 100% confirmed. That's such a weird thing to have. When you're the president, you can have a lot of weird things. I, I get it, but it's weird that it was like Diet Coke. You know, Obama had a button on his desk he would press and somebody would have to come in, get down on their hands and knees and apologize to him. Who? Obama. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. This is driven solely by politics and Nancy Pelosi, but we should they not always be a part use of her. That. She's like the boogeyman. Another top Republican in the Senate, John Thune, pulled back the curtain on what this is all about. It could be weaponized politically um, and, and drug into next year. Anything that uh, uh, gets us rehashing the 2020 election, I think, is a day lost on being able to draw a contrast between us and the Democrats' very radical left-wing agenda. Rehashing the 2020 erection. You know what kind of sucks? We're not going to be... Originally, the Mayweather-Logan Paul fight was supposed to happen on, I believe, a Saturday night. And it's been rescheduled, and it's happening on a Sunday. So we oh, won't... No. We won't. And I've already paid for it and everything, oh, so no. I guess I'll just watch it at home and, oh, you know, no. whatever. It should be interesting. Thune is but I just realized that. Like, they're honoring. I bought in early, so I got it, like, dirt cheap compared to how much it costs now. But it's happening, uh, I think it's, like, June 6th. It's, like, Sunday, June 6th. Oh, no. Yeah. 
Should be interesting, though. It's like, will Mayweather just destroy him right away? No. Or will he toy with him and then beat him? Like, Yeah, it won't be right away. Mayweather's a showman. Yeah. Nelson uses Chinese Mars landing as a warning to Congress. Well, Washington. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson congratulated China for successfully landing a rover on Mars, but also used the milestone to warn Congress of China's competitive threat to American leadership in human spaceflight. In a statement May 19th, hours after the China National Space Administration released its first images taken by Zorong rover since its May 14th landing on Mars, Nelson congratulated China for being only the second country after the United States to land a spacecraft on Mars and operate it there for more than a brief period. Has somebody else landed a spacecraft on Mars and not operate and only operate it for a brief period? I don't know. I don't know what countries have made a craft to Mars. I know for sure the U.S., I guess China, and that's not surprising. Um, As the international scientific community of robotic explorers on Mars grows, the United States and the world look forward to the discoveries Zerong will make to advance humanity's knowledge of the Red Planet. Nelson said in the statement, I look forward to future international discoveries, which will help inform and develop the capabilities needed to land human boots on Mars. NASA distributed the press release at the same time that Nelson was testifying before the House Appropriations Committee, uh, Committee's Commerce, Justice, and Science Subcommittee. During that hearing, he used the Zerong landing as a warning against American complacency in space exploration. I want you to see this photograph, he said, brandishing one of the Zerong Look images. Look at this photograph! He argued that the landing was evidence that China was serious about sending spacecraft to both the moon and Mars, including eventually human miss- missions. I think there's now adding a new element as to whether or not we <laughs> want to get serious and get a lot of activity going and land a humans back <laughs> on the surface of the moon. Nelson revisited the issue near the end of the two-hour hearing, again showing Zerong, the Zerong image. As a very aggressive competitor, he said in China, I'm going to be landing humans on the moon. That should tell us something about our need to get off our duff and get our human landing system program going vigorously. Well, Zerong is on Mars. Would you go on the one-way mission to Mars? No. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. It would suck, actually. You'd never be able to go outside. And, like, if they found a way for you to go outside, you'd be in a suit, like a pressurized suit. Well, Zerong is on Mars. Nelson focuses concern on the moon. He said China is planning three big landers that will go to the South Pole of the moon. He cited unnamed reports that claim that China is planning a flyby to the lunar lander in the decade of the 2020s. <laughs> the implication not explicitly stated by Nelson is that the flyby and lander missions would be crewed. In a presentation during a Royal Aeronautical Society conference May 19th, Yao Jingting, Deputy <laughs> General... General Secretary of CNSA said China was planning a second lunar sample return mission, Shangi 6, in 2024-2025. Two other lander missions to the lunar poles, Shangi 7 and 8, are scheduled for between 2024 and 2028. That will be followed by an internal lunar research station between 2030 and 2035 in cooperation with nations such as Russia. However, Yao did not mention the crew, the crude lunar flyby or lunar landing mission concepts that Nelson brought up at the hearing. Yao's brief discussion of China human spaceflight programs focused on <clears throat> development of a space station over the next two years. This needs to be taken <laughs> note of by the committee, Nelson said of the Chinese lunar exploration plans he outlined at the hearing. He called Congress to provide funding for the HLS program through a proposed $2.3 trillion infrastructure and jobs bill. NASA can't do it alone. <laughs> you all are our partners, he told the committee, citing recommendations he made earlier in the hearing for additional funding. We want a vigorous competition, but we got to have the money in order to be able to Is do it. Is that how he sounds for real? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Records I will give to a charity of his choice, Inner City Children in Chicago, American Cancer Society, AIDS Research, anything he wants. A check immediately. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I have this Trump soundboard. Um. Barack Obama. Snoop Dogg. Good morning. Where's Russia? Russia. Russia. 
Anyway. Russia. We owe China $1.3 trillion. China. This was kind of weird. Um, <laughs> this is a biased uh, article that was written. Naive left-wing streamer indirectly fundraised $286,000 for Hamas. You can tell this is a real good periodical. Yeah. It looks like it was thrown up in someone's the, word program. The National Telegraph. Ah. Vosh, a self-described anti-fascist YouTuber and Twitch streamer, held a live stream on May 17, 2021 to raise funds for a charity operating in Gaza. He announced on Twitter the next day that after 27 hours of live streaming, his channel managed to raise $292,284.71 for charity. They always use the worst possible picture. Vosh, during the stream, spoke with the organization's founder and his confidence in the value of his work since the end of the live stream has been re-uploaded in shorter segments. Yeah, this is actually, I guess this is enough to buy one missile. Cool. Congrats. Congrats. Use it well. Congratulations. One missile. One missile. The money went to the charity Palestinian Children's Relief Fund, PCRF in Gaza, an organization that describes itself as creating centers for health care for children with cancer built in the territory of Gaza, currently governed by the internationally known and Iranian-backed terrorist organization Hamas. Hamas. This means even if every single cent raised was used indeed to fund health care for children because Hamas governs the territory, they can redirect the money they would have used for health care into more rockets and pay for slay programs. Oh, we got Chesh in the... Ca- in the chat. What's up? Hey. The issue with sending money to any territory currently held by an enemy state is that all the provided funds contribute to prolonging their rule, whether in directly or indirectly. Damn, dude. Damn. Damn. Damn, dude. Oh, damn. Yeah, I don't know. That's cute. Yeah. <sighs> it's funny. It is what it is. Hi, Chesh. How you doing? It's nice to see you. Hi. 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 Oh, hi. Um. So what? Um. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, no. Did I just close your yes. window? My bad. It's hey, back. Yes. Hurricanes to pound Atlantic in 2021. That sounds kind of hot, doesn't it? Hell yeah. <laughs> Take that. At NOAA's last. outlook for the 2021 Atlanta hurricane season indicates that an above normal season is most likely. Specifically, there is a 60% chance of an above normal season, a 30% chance of a near normal season, and a 10% chance of a below normal season. The outlook calls for a 70% probability in the following ranges. I think they're just going to get buried underwater. 13 to 20 named storms with top winds of at least 39 miles per hour. Of these 13 to 20 named storms, 6 to 10 will become hurricanes with top winds of at least 74 miles per hour. This includes three to five major hurricanes ranked as categories three, four, or five with top winds of at least 111 miles per hour. We've got climate change, and really you you look at some of the impacts. So, yeah, uh, don't live in the southeast anymore. Don't live there. Don't do it. (laughs) <laughs> You've never been pounded like this before. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. We're going to get pounded. Pounded, I say. Don't do it. Don't do it, y'all. Do you want to bring the peeps in? No. No? Okay. But we can't. 
We can bring them in. Oh, you don't want to. I but just we don't can. want to. Why? I've come to believe that people come on this show and they talk and they bring their opinions and they really harsh my mellow. Is that what happens? They really harsh my mellow. I'll play a couple more things. Uh, get in the waiting room if you want to be on the stream. We'll do it eventually. We still have. They harsh my mellow. DJ Fix Souls says, I need my mellows harsh. I don't consent to that. Chill. Chill. So amid the Chicago Works Challenge today, what about um, the Morgan All Star Youth Center? I'm asking this question from a brother over here. I think there are other. Did somebody um, say community Beetlejuice groups that, that three have times? Apparently done the necessary paperwork. Are you familiar with this group, the Morgan All Star Youth Center? I, um, do you support that at all? That's the I'm, I'm not. I'm not familiar with it, but I would say that with this Chicago Works Community Challenge. They and who and others across the city should um, should uh, should file should should. Someone's heckling her. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor, if I may. Go ahead. Sir. Good afternoon, Tell Patrick you, Elwood from WGN TV. Go ahead. There you go. As we reported last night, the automated train line at O'Hare has been offline for expansion and huh. renovation since 2018. <laughs> they, they're just cutting the audio on it? Damn. So why even upload this if they're going to cut all the heckling out? Issues which we have worked to address, but one of the big linchpins over last year was the key part to get the uh, equipment back and running was in Canada and the border was closed and we couldn't get the part back here in Chicago. We can certainly get you an update on what the status of that project is, but the border being closed was a significant problem. You can still hear him. Uh, for that project and why it went offline. I think the rest of the, the planning and the project is on, on track, and I feel very good about where we are. Commissioner Jamie Ree is a, a phenomenal commissioner. She's on top of her business um, at, out, out at O'Hare. It seems like being a sign language interpreter is good a, a good like aerobic workout. Yeah, they actually aren't legally obligated to say what the person's saying. They can do whatever they want back there. Very confident about her leadership. Yeah, and that's what, that's what I'm responding to. Um, obviously, we've had to make some adjustments because of the impact that the airlines have had, and obviously they were fun, they were funding a significant a part of that expansion. But I feel like we're back on track. We've had great conversations with our airline partners. But poor, importantly, I think what your question implies what's is: up, is there size a sufficient due diligence there hey, to make up? sure um, we're that we're watching uh, uh, the Beetlejuice? Huh? We said Beetlejuice three times in the mirror, and this came Beetlejuice, on the screen. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's pretty, pretty fire. We're riding bike whenever the weather is permittable. I ride bike. Yeah, I don't know. Is there uh, any more to this other than being no. muted and having some guy talk in the background? No, that's all there is. Good time. Well, good evening once again. Day 122 of the Biden administration, which ends this week having survived its first major foreign policy crisis. Tonight, the ceasefire that ended 11 days of back and forth fighting between Israel and Hamas militants has now been in effect for just over 24 hours. It appears to be holding. The challenge now, of course, to prevent skirmishes with police like the one that erupted today out in the open in Jerusalem and keep them from escalating and getting any larger. The president has credited quiet. In I, you know what? I've avoided even talking about this kind of stuff because it's <laughs> I don't know. It's the news is just all trash now. It's worse than ever before, I think. At least with Trump, I had something to laugh at. Hence diplomacy just, for bringing about the everything. truce. And late today, as he hosted South Korea's leader at the White House, he suggested this would be indeed his strategy going forward. One of the reasons why we're able to get the Fucks, Biden got a ceasefire in 11 days, for. they didn't do what other people have done. I don't talk He's about being what fed I information. In I don't talk about what we negotiate in private. 
president added the U.S. was committed to Israel's security, but he noted there was really only one way to guarantee a lasting peace in the region. What is, what is it? We still need a two-state solution. It is the only answer. We renew the security commitment as well as economic commitment to the people on the West Bank. I also indicated to the Israelis that I thought it was very important that they stop in Jerusalem this intercommunal fighting that is by extremes on both sides. Until the region there says good unequivocally people on both sides. they acknowledge the right of Israel to exist as an independent Jewish state, there will be no peace. NBC News has new reporting tonight on the president's handling of this crisis with Israel and on his main objective, quote, his approach was stylistically muted, substan substantively more hard line than some of his allies had expected. It was driven by a singular goal to end the violence as soon as possible so he could train his focus back onto his domestic agenda. Mean what, why? Why not just focus on your domestic agenda? Uh, they've been fighting forever and let them continue to fight. It escalates. There's peaks and valleys to it. You like, know, like you're, you're, you're over here be like, I got I got your back, Israel. Israel's doing pretty good. They got the missile defenses. They They're got... one of the few uh, countries in that part of the world with nukes. Yeah. Maybe we just focus on our domestic agenda instead of going to give it Israel a back rub right now. They're, we already give them the money. We already gave them billions of dollars. It always happens, though. <laughs> wow. We've got to end the violence. We've got to end the violence in Israel before we can take care of America at home. Israel I have comes this with bright ugly... idea, all right? I haven't heard anybody say this yet. How about we put America first? <laughs> after uh, effect a rise in attacks on jews in our country and around the globe data from the anti-defamation league also mm. noted an increase in hate speech on social media and there are new calls from the administration uh, for the administration to address this growing wave of anti-semitism earlier on this network the head of the anti-defamation league spoke out about the recent attacks I do feel scared, and I've heard from Jewish people all over the country in the past week who are alarmed from college campuses to La Cienega Boulevard in Los Angeles. People are feeling under assault. It's like a Charlottesville every day. Uh, your opinion on... There's tiki torch rallies every day. And how the president did this Happy hour. navigating overseas is the hard part indeed to come, and things... Billy the Griper. Nikki Fu. I would be way better at, in Nick Fuentes' position than Nick would Fuentes you? would be. I can imagine you uh, with your, your suit and like yeah. your hair. If comb, I sat like... down and took Nick Fuentes' position on things, we'd be first. America would be first. I wouldn't just sit there and complain and compare things to grow. Groping. I don't like big hamburgers. Yeah, right? I wouldn't say that. I'd be like, look, here's the deal, guys. America's first, and I'll tell you how. And then let's do it. And then when everybody started doing it, we'd join hands and we'd sing Ahu Vorhe, Dr. Who, Seuss style. And Christmas, yeah, everything Christmas would be fine. Day. But I don't have that position, so I can't help. It's brilliant have changed vis-a-vis -vis U.S. and Israel. Yes, Brian, it's good to see you again. It's been a long time. Uh, I think he handled it admirably. I mean, it's a sign of what the biden Blinken form of diplomacy is, deliberate, biden uh, cautious, uh, saying what you mean, uh, talking behind the scenes. One of the things that this people haven't talked dropping? about is Biden's relationship with Bibi. Um, it's not that. a state Literally. secret that I'm revealing when I say that Barack Obama <laughs> and Bibi Netanyahu uh, didn't have a love affair. Uh, Biden yeah. has purchased with wow, Bibi because he supported him affair? for 30 years. And when he says to Bibi, look, you've got to cut this out, Bibi knows he has to do that. That really wasn't the case with President Obama. And I'm so glad and relieved that President Biden mentioned the, the two-state solution. You know, the Trump administration played a kind of three-card Monty game with the two-state solution and kind of pretended uh, it didn't exist. 
But Biden said, look, it's this is the only answer. You know, to paraphrase Winston Churchill, the two state solution is the worst solution of all, except for all the others. <laughs> there really isn't any alternative. And it's getting harder year by year. It's harder because uh, the PLO and Hamas don't get along and they're two separate places. So you have to make a deal with two people. Hamas was probably strengthened by what just happened over the last 10 or 11 days. So to your mm -hmm. last part of your question, yeah, the, now begins the hard part. Now begins the hard part. It's always on the hard part, right? You know, it's like Winston Churchill said, two-state solution is the worst solution other than all the other solutions. So what is in the smoking weed? Because I notice it makes my eyes droopier than most weed. And it's because it, it comes from my dad. It's not like the most beautiful, like super green, crystally weed, but when I smoke it, I feel like my eyes yeah my dad have... has knocked you the fuck out weed yeah it's, it's grown like... by uh bikers and um it, it's given to people with advanced stage uh glaucoma oh god is that really it no i mean oh, it's like the, my eyes feel but it crazy. fucks everybody up yeah joe smokes it and it goes yeah. and takes automatic naps yeah that's it's that super dank quality knock you the fuck on your butt we I do feel like that right now. Yes. GF! It's not like that. I uh, miss that. It's not like that weed that you just buy from like the, the corner store and it gets, uh, oh, I have a little peppermint weed. No, this is uh, Chauncey kicked you in the dick weed. It's that type of weed. This is like... A bottle full of dabs. Does it have mescaline in it? It probably, probably does. Yeah. That's probably what I'm feeling right now. Cause it's a little mescaline. It's just a little mesca. Mesc mesca. Some mescal That's what we call it on mescalon. the streets. Mescalante. 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 It's just a bottle of crack weed at the Mescalante, mescalante. Picante. So we've got a little bit left in the show. We're going to bring some callers in here live. Let's bring in Mr. Captain Snacks first. Yeah, here. Mr. Captain he Snacks, is. you're live on the air. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I need you. I, I feel I need, honored. I, I need you to blessed. tell me a secret, Mr. Captain Snacks. Tell me a secret. So this one time... I uh, had this cat, right? Yeah. And I looked after this cat, and I love this cat. And um, my dad decided to uh, uh, leave it out in um, out in the field, where our neighbor's dog uh, would always run in and out of. And he did that for a single purpose. This fucking cat was a fucking demon. This cat would hurt things what so this cat essentially dealt with the dog reclaimed the territory for my dad after doing that and um the dog disappeared for various reasons and yeah that that was the end of that what the heck you asked for a secret was that a secret I mean, I was told not to tell people, but the, my, my dad's dead, so fuck, he can't saw me. Okay. That was a, yeah. How are you guys doing? I mean, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I I don't know. I, ben keeps leaving the room. He's on my dad's weed. He's he's he's, he's dying. I think he's. He, I think Ben went to go take a nap, and now <laughs> you're telling me your dad's gone, and uh, there's freaking animal confessions. You know. It, it's what what's interesting about that is that cat was not the most evil cat as you would expect. It was very much a peaceful and loving person. I would say I say person, you know, referring to the cat as like you know it has a lo little bit of personality. It wasn't a mean personality, so. Well. I'm, thank you for sharing that with us. Now I, I miss that, but it doesn't matter. I, I, you know, I, I, it's the smoking weed. I don't know what smoking weed means because most weed smokes. But damn, I'm really, really high right Got now. Got you a bottle of weed. You smoked it like it was uh, a bag of weed. Oh no! 
Yeah, and Billy it's only was like, telling me that. Yeah, you, you've barely it used was, any uh, of it. <laughs> so oh it's God. Billy's dad's weed, and yeah. it's apparently the best fire in the world, eh? Smoking weed. That's not even the top Isn't tier. Isn't that what he said? That's the smoking weed, yeah. That's the smoking <laughs> that, weed. It's not the pretty what? weed. That's the smoking weed. I got some pretty weed. It, pretty weed, similar effect. Yeah, it's the pretty. smoking weed, dummy. It ain't look like much, but it'll knock you That's the your type ass. of stuff to make your jaw drop to the floor and bounce yeah. around like some rubber. Yeah, I wonder uh, if you just got to uh, smoke less of the smoking weed because, like, evolve. You've barely smoked any. You've had that for weeks, and it's it's. Well, what do you think? Did you did you smoke this other was totally weed? Totally full. Yeah, I had other. Okay, weed. yeah. It's different. It's a different kind of feeling. Is it this a tea or an indica? I have no idea. Probably an indica. The way. Yeah, the I think reacting. so. The way my mm. my eyes are closing. It's an indica dominant, probably. Let's bring someone else in. Let's. Mr. Do... Stacks, let him. Cleficent. Hi. You're on. Cleficent, how you doing? You're on. She's she's muted. Cleficent, unmute yourself and tell us a secret. Sorry. Hello. Cleficent, Hi. tell us a secret. Hello, Cleficent. You're live on the air. Convicted rapist moved next door to my house. That's a secret? Uh, I guess. I don't think that should be a secret. You should tell everybody. You should put a poster up on the wall at the post office. Well, words got around, but they kind of tried to keep it secret. Damn. My neighbors did. How long ago uh, were they convicted? Um, they He just came out of jail after... A, Serving a 25 year sentence. Whoa, just for the, the frappe? Did he do uh, a murder? No, I don't think so. It, his record says like sexual assault and burglary. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know the exact <clears throat> detail, but that's what his record said. Ah. Uh. So Are you going to bring them like a casserole? <laughs> <laughs> actually, the the he actually like he actually stopped breathing his first night home. There was like an ambulance in front of his house. Was he panic attacked or something? No, he just stopped breathing. And he died? No. No, he's he's alive. His his sister uh resuscitated him. You should Jesus. make a casserole. You should go over there, knock on the door and say, Hey, I heard you're out of prison and that you were a convicted rapist. I made you this casserole. Don't get me. <laughs> Actually, I was like really nervous until I saw him. And he it turns out he's like this really tiny, scrawny dude. Oh no. Like I'm five two and taller than he is. Oh no, that's not good. Let's Why? bring in. Because that means he probably did some bad stuff. We're gonna swap out. Nope, we're not going there. We're not going there. Uh, By Caleficent, East Max, how you doing? Hey, what up? What up? Do you have a secret that doesn't involve weird shit with animals or uh, convicted rappers? Uh, I mean, Epstein didn't kill himself, right? The, the what? Epstein didn't kill himself. That's that's not a secret. No, I mean, why not? Why not? Well, Ben left again, so I guess right uh, now it's our show, East Max. See, you know, the sad thing is I'm smoking some, some pretty good weed right now, and I'm communicating with you just fine, Billy. Yeah, something tells There's me Ben doesn't right? know how to smoke weed. Nope. <laughs> I guess I just, then one of my other secrets is uh, I don't cough when I smoke weed, generally speaking. Uh, the reason why it's a secret is because I don't really smoke with too many people on a regular basis. Uh, but, uh, yeah. 
It's like my secret talent. Nice. I I, don't know. I mean, I would say that's impressive, but really it's only impressive if, if you don't smoke. I vape, so I don't really get none of that weed, none of that weed smoke, because uh, no, the vape, I, so I don't really cough on vape. I like vape, though. It's it's easier on the lungs. It's hilarious to watch people who haven't vaped for the first time vape and just, like, die. On a vape? Yeah, man, they'll just, like, cough out their lungs because they're not used to having, like, the liquidy, you know, vape. Yeah, like, they must I, be burning it. I mean, be... like, smokers, with the smokers cough, would, like, smoke it for the first time and have to adjust. A good vape shouldn't make you cough. It's You must be burning it. Billy, you should arm wrestle this guy. Why? Oh, hell yeah, dude. He's co a competitive arm wrestler. Oh, no, thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I cheat. No, I 100% I wouldn't beat you, Billy. No, no lie. Thank you for not beating me. Uh, do you uh, jerk off vigorously and have a handful of cum <clears throat> before you do your your meats? No, I use chalk. I mean, you uh, could get chalk. liquid chalk that looks kind of like spooge, but, you know, chalk it up. You don't want no slippage. You want to grab you... a hold of that man's hand and never let it go. Never let it go? Yeah. It's actually quite romantic unless you want to kill the other person, which typically you want to kill the other person. Have you ever seen somebody's arm break while they were doing it? Would you ever it? do the slap fighting? Uh, I, no, but I did slap box in high school on two occasions in the bathroom. So Nice. You know, I guess you get paid I'm not 20 bucks for it? certified. I'm not going to let there and let someone just wail away. I mean, never. You're going to beat them? There's no way I couldn't fight. You're going to pound them? We're going to switch you out with someone um, else. Here comes Bice Dave. 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 How you doing? <clears throat> Did do you have a secret to tell everybody? Oh, oh man, fuck! Um, like ten years ago, I stole my friend's copy of Diablo two. It wasn't cool. That's crappy. when's the new version coming out? The new like Diablo two reboot? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's pretty soon. I don't think there's an Diablo exact date. It looks kind of good. Did you play I have it Diablo three? Did you play it a lot yeah. when you after you stole it? Dude, that's the fucked up thing. I didn't even play his copy. I only ever played it when I got my own copy. Yep. Wow, that's, that's exactly awful. That's exactly why I asked that. That is fucking awful. That's exactly why I asked that. It's not I good. Figured... I'm not proud. Yeah. I didn't want to tell a fake secret, though. Good. Yes, good, if good you on you. Good on you. If you would have <clears throat> stolen it and then played it a whole bunch, I'd have been like, oh, yeah, that sucks, but at least you got your time out of it. <laughs> no, just, I did the worst possible it. thing. Oh, my God. That's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. At least you can admit it. Thanks for calling in, Bye, Dave. Dave. Uh, let's do Bay, Bay Area of Bay Gaming. Bay Gaming, do you have a secret you can share with us? Do I have a secret? Yeah. Do I have a secret? Let's see. Give me one second. Give me one second. What's one, the one secret I have? You have one secret that you can share with us live tonight. Uh, I stole M and M's from a store when I was a toddler. What I what kind of M and M's were they? Just like regular. Huh. I mean, I there's not really anything crazy that happens in my life that's secret. Honestly, not that I can yeah. think of. If I would have stolen M and M's, I would have stolen yeah. peanut butter M and M's. Hmm. Those are my favorite M and M's. I think the peanut butter ones. I don't know how I feel about peanut butter and chocolate. I don't even like peanut butter and chocolate chip cookies. So, wow, yeah. blasphemy! Goodbye. Oh damn. Um, here's uh, Dot Executables. Bye, Hello. Mario Gaming. What's up, Dot X? You got a secret you can share with us? I once stuck my penis in a pickle jar. I wanted to get more ridges to pleasure my woman. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Fat yeah, executables. Do you even eat pickles? No. I like pickles. Do you? Yes. I, I do like pickles. I do too. Nice. Well, I that's was, my uh, secret. I went out to uh, lunch today. 
and they had uh, a, a, like a, a sandwich menu, and it said it came with a big pickle, like a deli pickle. Yeah, and I thought I thought yeah. about asking for a pickle because I got a salad. Like I get one of the pickles on the side, but I didn't ask, and now I'm regretting that. Damn. Not because you stick your dick in a pickle jar, because you reminded me how much I almost wanted that pickle, but instead I got a salad. It didn't come with a pickle. It did come with pickled uh, cabbage, though. Had some pickled cabbage on the salad. That's delicious. It's pretty good stuff. That sounds fantastic. It kind of sounds like sauerkraut pickled. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was, I was a little bit like that, but it was red cabbage, <clears throat> and it was not. I've had a red like kimchi kraut. Mm-hmm. They sell it at the grocery store. It's like a kraut and a kimchi in one. They're they're very similar. Yeah, the only difference between kimchi and kraut is that my people make kraut. Your people. <laughs> your people. What do you mean, mm. your people? We my need... people. Yeah. We need to go. We need to go visit the lands of your ancestors. Ballard. No. <laughs> no. Are you Norwegian? I'm Danish and uh, German. Isn't Ball? Isn't Ballard mostly Norwegian? Uh, it's Scandinavian. Right. So there's Danish and Norwegian and Swedish. And I think there's some Swede. I know that I know there's like a big Danish bakery out there. Uh, Larson's. They I just ship went all to the, the country. I went to the Ballard Market for the first time ever recently. How was that? Do they have it's their cool. big uh, street fair market? Or? Oh yeah, it's big. Yeah, it goes on all year too. The only thing that stopped it was COVID. When I was doing uh, Dicky Do Moo Moo, um, delivering for Postmates. Yeah. They would try and get me to go pick up shit from Ballard when that street fair was going yeah. on. I get down there and they're like, walk two blocks. I was like, fuck this, cancel. <laughs> Somebody can get their own fucking stupid Herkimer sandwich on their own. I'm not going to walk two blocks to drive back. To walk their fucking you can't walk. shit. Hell no, because for one, to find parking, like cl- I'd have to walk four blocks to get parking to walk two blocks. It's cut off street. Yeah. I'm like, fuck that, dude. I, I'm just going to walk away and go somewhere better. I stopped actually delivering in Ballard. Shit got weird yeah. in Ballard a lot. Go to yeah. Chipotle. It's and better. then you got kicked out of the bar in Ballard. Yeah, man. Then they got shut down. Did Karma. they get shut down? Uh, they're back open now. I drove by it and saw a bunch of drunk people standing What's outside. What's it called again? The Golden The Golden Lounge? City, I think. The Golden Lounge? Golden City. Oh, Golden City. Yeah, line. Golden City. Cause we they got a it, bunch of bad uh, reviews. Sorry. <laughs> Y'all fucked with well, the wrong one. You picked Zoltan and his fucking <laughs> cuck-ass fucking lifestyle. And his shithead, <laughs> his shithead friends that were there. It's cuck ass lifestyle. I love how. Sorry. I love the, the one where Joe's like climbing the side of the building <laughs> like Spider Man. Yeah. <laughs> And then he's like, guys, what if Sultan has a gun? <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to climb into their fucking window. <laughs> it's funny stuff. It is. <laughs> I'm like I'm only concerned about what's gonna happen when he gets inside no, see, the window. See, see, I was across the street watching, <laughs> so if the cop showed up, I could just walk away and act like I wasn't part of it. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, Zoltan, he broke your Joby, right? Yep. And he, he tore your my, shirt. My portable gorilla pod. All because he said Mikasa Sukasa and didn't mean it. Yep. If you he say, didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. He did not mean he that. He said Mikasa Sukasa. And I he had, did. I had enough respect not to open my mouth when his girl tried to kiss me. How long ago was that? It was uh, almost two years? a year and a half ago. Okay. It was Thanksgiving night. Should we ask Joe if he wants to go to Zoltan's place again? No. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Suck Joe, me. Joe wanted to to destroy Zoltan so badly he climbed the side of his house. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it was hilarious. Zoltan's girlfriend followed me on Facebook recently. Uh, it was a while back, but after the whole incident. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I thought about like 
pursuing uh, a friendship so that I could get back in Zoltan's good graces. But why do you want to be in Zoltan's good graces? So we could do more videos together. Get him super wasted and have him try and fight me and other. And we could throw him down a flight of stairs. I don't know. I think it'd be, uh, what's worth attempting? Wow! But he blocked me on Facebook because I tried to add him. <laughs> but so he knows, like he realizes. Like, yeah, I think so. Because I just went to add him and then he was gone, and then I found like his mom's page. And <laughs> his mom was like kind of like a kind of like you know. His mom was kind of like putting it out there. Oh, really? She's like, I'm a cute mom. Really? Yeah. And I thought about it and I was like, how much content do I want? <laughs> Not that much. Not that much. Yeah. But yeah. So I think we're going to wrap up the stream. It was a wonderful Saturday bonus show. We will see all of you guys coming up here on Tuesday. You all I do have want to a... say, oh yes, one one more thing. I have been working on my emo Howling Wolf impression. Why yeah, let's it... hear it. Let's hear it. I was looking online the other day, and these stupid fucking idiots, the drunken peasants, right? They tried to get my fucking address. That fucking, and they they came trying to ruin my fucking reputation. Oh, that's pretty good. Fucking, I just shit myself. Can, can, can you do the like, your dad is gonna be a hua! Your dad is gonna be a fucking hua! <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. Hua. Cocksucker motherfucking hua! Yeah, so we're, uh, we are going to end the stream. We will see all of you guys on Tuesday. You all have a great night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, sweet boys. Boom, boom, boom. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken peasants From the strangest corners of the internet Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben You know where you can find them at Get ready cause they're gonna kick your Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Drunken peasants